already uh, ordered all those beers from Rouge River. My uh, my package from New Ontario showed up later that day. I've never seen them come oh. out twice, so I didn't get it. It's at the post office. I have to walk up and grab it because for some they they came out for a second time that day. Normally, like I'll I'll see my mail lady. Oh, and good day to you too. I'll see my mail lady at 8 a.m. I'll see her at 8 a.m. and that's it, right? But she showed up at 8 a.m., dropped off my package, and then she was here again at like 11.45 with the second package. That's weird, yeah. And she didn't Especially even for the same lady. Like, well, she, like, she, she didn't knock that time. And then she, like FedEx or something, or, you know, those ones will yeah. come at different times, but the same person twice is weird. Yeah, she and she even left on the on it. She's like, sorry, I didn't knock. I figured you were sleeping. She knows my routine. If I know a package is coming, I wake up to see her because she knows when I sleep and all that. So uh, yeah. so I lost out on that package. It's it's at the post office. I got to go walk up and get it. It's a 45 what minute beers Did you say like I'm imagining you did you order like basically everything you could? I ordered everything. I, I, I ordered everything that you didn't bring down or I couldn't get at the LCBO. So I have your I'm going to make your frisky tree topper. Nice. That's awesome, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, because hey, you're probably going to get the, uh, did you get the, you got the two sours then probably, right? I think so. I don't, sour, I don't. The sour IPA and the maple sour, I think, are both on the website right now for sale. So I'd, ho I'd hope you did. Those are, those are really tasty. And I ordered from Rouge River. I ordered a couple things from Half Hours on Earth. There's a couple other places I'm gonna, probably going to order from, uh, because I had, I had like $300 put aside that I was using as my, my alcohol fund for the next few months. Nice. And since I, drink these beers so slowly it's gonna last me anyway i might as well order it now while there's so much stuff available how, 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 anyway. many, how many beers are in the friend the uh in the room beside you right now Oh, probably like 240. that's a lot of beer yeah uh so wow. first and foremost uh beer zerker what are you drinking and welcome how's it going i am drinking brew house which was actually a mistake because then i found rolling rock for one dollar more for an eight pack. Brew, so I bought brew house. I, I want to try those ones. I've only ever had the, uh, I think the Pilsner is something that was sent to me by Jordan. That's what this one looks like. Pilsner? I prefer, I prefer the Prime, which is the 6% uh, version. I'm it's just, I'm into trying everything, right? Like, it doesn't matter what it is, I might like it. And I, I didn't actually mind the Pilsner. I thought it was a good beer, especially when he told me the price of them. Yeah, I'm the same What'd way. Yeah. But I, I like the Rolling Rock. For a dollar more in eight pack, that's like shit. Well, yeah, if you if you like Rolling Rock, a dollar more is nothing when you're thinking about it. A dollar more on an eight pack, you're looking at less than fifteen cents more. Yeah, we had a liquor depot closed down out here when Safeway, I guess, or Sobeys bought Safeway and then shut Sobeys down. And I think Liquor Depot is somewhat tied with that. And so some other company bought Liquor Depot, so it's turning out to be a pretty good liquor store actually. Alrighty, and yourself, Kerry, what are you drinking, Mr. Redbeard? I have got myself a glass of Charles Henry Stout by Brasserie Le Deux Frères out of Quebec. It's Ooh. pretty all right. It's like it's an Irish kind of themed stout, apparently, and it's it's kind of sweet and different, but yeah, it, it's it's pretty good actually. Sounds nice, sir. That sounds nice. I'm in the middle of the vlog for it right now. I, Took like I, I just I randomly went off on a tangent. I took two drinks of it and then talked for like fifteen minutes. So I'm taking a pretty long break. So that's good stuff. Oh, so you're going to take a break at some point to go finish that? Yeah, it'll be like two minutes. It'll be all good. Uh, so what am I drinking? Uh, even though you didn't ask, uh, what I'm drinking <laughs> is is Radio Tube Pilsner. That's a from, weird bottle. Uh, from this new brewery in Corbyville, Ontario. This is well, that's the one you thought was near me, isn't it? Well, I thought it was near you because both of both New Ontario and this brewery sent the sent their beers to the same post office. Yeah, nowhere near me at all. Like <laughs> cal calendars where they sent the beer, so it was weird to me that. That's no, funny. Weird stuff, man. The world's a weird place. Like I, I sat there and I'm like, well, Carrie never mentioned this place. Like, uh, how is it that close to him that the else like the beers? Two breweries are using the same fucking place. Yeah, if it was close, if it was that close, I'm sure I would have at least heard of it before. I'd never even heard of that brewery before. And you're like, yeah, it's close to you. I'm like, no fucking way, man. No way. <laughs> and good day to our viewers. Uh, tonight is kind of impromptu. I was supposed to have some people over for some beer reviews. And uh, there was a family emergency happened. Somebody was rushed into a hospital. So those people didn't show up because they were a, they were a couple. So, you know, the couple couldn't come. 
Um, so I was on my own. I was just going to go to sleep. And I'm like, you know what? I have to get through some of these beers, especially because I'm trying to not drink as much myself as well because I'm trying to – I've had three weeks of, of stress, so I let myself get a little bit back out of shape. So I have to get back into what I was doing. So I got to get some of this shit out. I have to drink it down. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're wondering about this Pilsner, if you're like, hey, is that a good Pilsner, Chad? Uh, what I will say to you is it's a good beer. It's probably one of the worst Pilsners I've ever had, but it's a good beer. What is, what? give me like uh, your top two or three Pilsners. Oh, oh fuck, probably like a... Uh, have you had Stonehouse? Stonehouse. Stonehouse. Mm, don't think so. They're out of somewhere near Stratford, Ontario. Marcel's girlfriend's family lives down there, so he goes down with her all the time. No, I'm not. And goes there and it's I. They they just started making also a black lager. Like they only made the one pilsner. They were kind of doing the steam whistle thing for the longest time, but making a really delicious like that caramel malty flavor kind of pilsner. And now the black lager they started making. It's, it sounds, crap, it sounds to me like you need to get Pascal to pick up two bottles of whatever they sell, like a bottle each of whatever they sell, and send it down this way. Yeah, that, that's it's, it's sounding that it's sounding it, that way. It's good stuff, man. It's uh, so but, tasty. Anyway, what I was going to say with this is it's basically tasteless, other than a bready biscuitiness. So it basically tastes like a yeah. low ABV English ale. So I really like it, but it's a fucking horrible pilsner. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, to answer your question, what are my two favorites? Uh, if we're looking in Ontario, probably uh, the Sociable Pilsner from uh, the Good Beer People. Haven't tried that, um, or even tried anything by them. I don't think it's it's a brewery in Toronto that uh, that basically makes well they're 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 there more for collabs and for contract brews than their own. Okay, yeah, but they make some of their own too. But the Sociable Pilsner is a really good pilsner. And uh, mascot, mascot makes a really good pilsner. I don't think uh, I've tried that in either. Toronto. Uh, I like, say, uh, the one by Stonehammer, which is now apparently gone and fucking like says, don't I still understand how they just disappeared? But yeah, that was uh, a yeah, really uh, again uh, uh, plug for anybody out there. If you there is a uh, there is a bankruptcy company in London that currently owns a brew house. If you're looking to open a brewery, and probably like liquidating a- it. Probably a pretty decent brew house. Like they, they've, been around, a, decent they've house. been around for a while. It was like thirty uh, years. Now, if, if you do buy this brew house, I can tell you, George Eagleson is who used to be the brewmaster there for a very long time and was also the engineer putting a lot of it together. He works at Niagara College. He can probably tell you half the things he's changed on that brew house. Uh, so go out and buy that brew house and talk to George. George well, if you know, if you know, like you must, like what happened? Like what? Do you know what happened? They went bankrupt. Yeah, but like, but how? Like they were. Okay, so this is what Stonehammer's biggest problem, and this was their problem back when when uh, when it was owned before the Woodhouses bought it. It was owned by another another family, and neither family, neither the Woodhouses nor these guys, wanted to expand past Guelph. Really, they wanted to stay within Guelph. Well, you know what? Guelph has Wellington, Guelph has uh, Royal City, and Guelph has you guys. You guys are the bottom rung of those three breweries. In all honesty, I'm sorry to tell you, you were the bottom rung of those three. If you don't want to expand out, and especially with the size you had, and you don't want to contract out, especially with the size you have, you're fucked. It's just the way it is. That sucks, man. Because like, like, so they they were around. They were one of the first breweries in Ontario, like first craft breweries in Ontario, and now they're they're, they're dead. Yeah, and like, they they were ground into the ground by people that just didn't get the business and i mean for forever again they didn't want to expand and they didn't want to do anything that the fucking market wanted it wasn't until 2016 that they made their first ipa well that's the thing too eh? like like even like like i was saying that stone house brewing there like they make they make a really good pilsner but it's the kind of like sure steam with steam whistle has somehow managed to be all big and stuff with their really well, Steam Whistle is big. They have a great location, so they get so much walk-in traffic. Yeah, that, that's probably a big part of it. And to keep they're, they're yeah. big enough that they expanded past Ontario real quick. Like, they're all over Canada. They're oh, in the like, they're, 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 they're big. But at the same time, it's, it's just, I'm not impressed by their beer overlay kind of thing is what I'm saying. You know, like, but I See, I wasn't, well, if no. somebody like them can ahead, do what they sorry. did with one beer, then why can't somebody else? Take what were you saying there, Beer Zerker? Oh, but Steam Whistle got in at the right time, though. Well, they did get in at the right time, and uh, I wasn't. I 
Sorry, go ahead. Well, when I first got into craft beer, Steam Whistle was around. So, you know, with all those tourist town beers, people still buy it. Well, they, they also oh. came in. They came in with their dad, uh, Cam Heaps. His dad was the owner of... Uh, was the owner of Upper Canada when Upper Canada got bought bought by AB InBev. Now, when AB InBev bought Upper Canada, they had him sign a non competition clause saying he could not work in the brewing industry again. Ah. So he gave all the money to his son to open up <laughs> Steam Whistle. So Steam Whistle opened up without owing a penny either. Like they had, they were not opening up with with debt. with debt. bank loans and debts and yeah. this and that either. That's that that can be a big part of especially like in the beginning with that kind of thing. Like like I, I know there are a bunch of breweries out there that you know that they, they have no interest in the beer store or the LCBO. They're conf, they're content with just supplying their local market. And if they do that if they do say that if they do that all the time. If they do, if they do that well enough, then they can be like if I say it's a small town and you're the craft brewery there kind of thing, and you're only supplying that small area. And it's good enough that people start the word of mouth, and you can be a draw. You can become a huge tourist yeah. draw for your town. It can be a good thing, but if you're not doing it well and you're not doing that draw, then you're not. You're just gonna fucking stay in this tiny little loop forever and not really get anywhere. Yep. The way I see it. And I mean, again, they uh, their owners did not want George to do anything other than their four core brands forever. Uh, when George finally fought them to start other things, that's when he did the continuity Baltic Porter and he did the bandwagon IPA and he did the uh, double IP. He did everything. Uh, he did the why not, the uh, asparagus smoked meat beer. Oh, um, I heard about that. So he did all that stuff after he fought with them for years and years and years. And then he he abandoned ship. And we were talking about it recently when I when I saw him last at the college. And he's like, yeah, I, I, people have been calling me since they closed going, what's your idea on this? And he goes, I, I knew it was happening. That's why I abandoned ship. <laughs> like, it's Fair enough. So it, it was, I, I was kind of sad to see it happen because like pretty much all the beers I tried from Stonehammer, like they weren't amazing. That Pilsner was pretty amazing, but everything else, it was, see, it was, I remember it was, all, it was like, all just, it was all just pretty damn tasty beer. Like there was nothing. I didn't. I didn't not like anything I tried from them. Nothing except the Pilsner was like amazing for me, but it was all pretty damn good. Oh, the Baltic Porter was fucking. To die I never for. tried that. I want to say I tried their light, the Pilsner, the dark, and something else. The, the main oatmeal, ones that went into like, uh, maybe. They they the oatmeal stout, and then they had one seasonal, the uh, maple red. The, the, the main ones that made it to the LCBO, I guess, or the beer store, I think, is where I found them in so, so the big thing with them as well was things like uh, the, the light. The light was one of the first light beers that I really enjoyed. It had flavor to it. And uh, I also I also always liked the Flying Monkeys Anti-Gravity Ale. They're like... It's not, it's not bad. No, it, it's just bready and biscuity, and that's that's why I think I like this one, right? It's just bready and biscuity. The, uh, I just had the, uh, the Cowbell... Uh, their new uh, the Shindig here on County Logger not too long ago. It's actually pretty decent. It's a light logger. I haven't had that right. one. No, I. Uh... Go ahead. Uh, shit, what's the name? Uh, okay, Big Rock is brewing a pilsner for uh, Jasper National Park or whatever. So it's got the label of the provincial or national parks on the can. It's a pilsner. And it's not the best Pilsner I've had, but the best beer from Big Rock I've ever had. So. I'm going to drink the beer that I liked the least from tonight's review next because it's it's bad. It's 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 a butter bomb. And that is Frank's Blonde Bombshell. It's a pretty cool looking can. Yeah, well, I, I, I'll, I talked about this too. Once I pour this and I can turn the can over, I'm going to talk about this too. But I talked about it in the review. And you know how things like... Uh, Naughty neighbor from from Burling from Nickelbrook has gone shit on for you know sexist can shit and how like white waters farmer's daughter and farmer daughter's melons and all that has gone. I shit didn't on. know that's gotten shit on, but I okay. I've had both those beers and I know like I I made a big deal of saying hi Ashley hey man Ooh, when yeah. I had the farmer's daughter I made a pretty big deal of being like that's a sexy looking woman on that can right there that that's a that's a farmer's daughter that like yeah but yeah. Yeah. So, so what I was saying there is, so both of those got hit on on the internet world for you know being sexist and being this and that. Yeah. Okay. This is this is blonde bombshell, and its tagline is the perfect package. 
how this has not had the same. It doesn't have a picture. There's no picture of a, of a sexy girl. It, it doesn't matter if it has. Oh, and that old flame, old flame got it too. Old flame would because like there's like the blonde, the brunette, the dirty blonde and stuff. I have some of their cans, yeah. But that one, they they again have like the silhouette that has no picture on it. If that had a picture of a blonde bombshell, then yeah, I'm sure. You know, it come on, you know what they're talking about. Oh, I do, but I'm sure that like. So social justice warriors, if you're going to be a social justice warrior, be a fucking social justice warrior and fight on everybody, not just the ones you want to fight on. E equal rights for all. Anyway, what, what are you drinking tonight there, Ashley? How is Welland tonight? Mr. Uh, Sexton. Welland is fantastic tonight, and I am drinking a Welland classic. Do you want to guess Old what Vienna? it is? Old Vienna. Old uh, Vienna. There, there was three choices. There was Old Vienna. There was fucking uh, Labatt 50. <laughs> or there was Molson Bredor. Those were those three choices. I've never heard of that third one. You've never heard of Molson, Molson, Molson Bredor? Never heard of it before. I don't even think you can get Bredor anymore. Or Golden. I, you could have had Golden. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen Bredor in a long time. It's been about five years since I've seen Bredor. Um, yeah, after this, I have some... I have something else other than Ovi in the fridge. I have, I have a few others to try, so... I want to get some OV in my fridge, but nobody will take me to the beer store, and the beer store doesn't deliver. There's no, like, dial-up beer kind of friggin' thing in your Dial-up beer? Sure there is. You can do dial-up beer. It'd be, like, a $5 delivery charge. Yeah, there's, like, 15 people things here. 15, sure. Not 15. There's, like, a bunch of different delivery services here, and, like, my town is... Well, actually, how big is the town? Is the actual city that you city live in, Chad? I don't know. It's It's... Big-ish, but not big at all. It's it's smaller than St. Catharines. What's the population? You don't know, you don't know the population I don't of the, know the fucking population. It went down by fucking four when my ex-wife left. Yeah, but uh, like, like that's just how like Ashley. Do you know the population of the city you live in? I just googled it. Uh, Fifty-two thousand. If you hadn't googled it, would you have any idea? No, I would. I, I would have said bad. under. I would have said under a hundred, or probably more than forty. Well, so what? What is it? Sorry. Fifty-two thousand. So that, that's the same actually as North Bay. That's pretty funny. Oh, Niagara Falls, according to the 2016 data, was 88,000. And that's really? like, you're, you're like in Niagara Falls, like the county you live in is the Welland County, is that it? No, no he, lives, he lives in Welland. Oh, so what, what, you're, yeah, what about you? Like, what you live I live in, in Niagara Falls. That's like this, okay. I, well, that was like the, I don't remember what the hell. No, Niagara about. Falls is a city. Oh wait, that's yeah. Niagara Falls, New York, that I'm getting the population for. Yeah, is it like like well, there's Niagara on the Lake and all these other weird places around there, and well, Niagara on the Lake is its own city as well. That's that right. Is, yeah, much smaller though. I think it's only like not even ten thousand. Oh wow, uh, eighty-eight thousand, uh, Chad. No, that that was Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, no. Niagara Falls, New York population eighty-eight thousand. It'd be funny if it's the same. Canadian and and New York one. Census profile: Niagara Falls is this Canadian? Yes, this is the Canadian census. What's the Canadian census say? Remember that we're minusing at least four off this census number. <laughs> yeah, because they're definitely there are they're already that accurate. So this is going to be a big issue when you minus the four off. So Chad, what are you drinking? Uh, yeah, you are right. Uh, according to this, eighty-eight thousand three hundred and seventy-one. So is, is it like what? What is it? Is the same as the American one? <laughs> it's the same as the American really? one. Really? That's fucking hilarious! Wow. Yeah, and I'm just surprised. Like, uh, beer zerker, you've actually had m much time to already be sitting in the background and googling shit. But do you know the population of your town without googling? Yeah, it's about a hundred thousand. And you knew that without googling? Yep. Nice. And you? Where are you? Sorry, you're in Welland, Lethbridge. Lethbridge. Oh, you're in Alberta. Lethbridge, right? Alberta. Look at me go, knowing my geography, kind of. Yes, almost, but not knowing that Niagara Falls is a city. You shut your mouth. Of of the eighty eight thousand people, <laughs> forty thousand five hundred and fifty five are married. Oh, uh, the, down to the fifty five. That that's that's pretty impressive, right there. Fifty three now. Fifty three. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's where we're at. That and nobody talking to. Oh wait, Jesse Aaron here. Uh, hey, what's happening? Nothing at all, sir. I had a Saturday night off. Nobody wanted to come and drink with me, so I came on here after doing some reviews. And to answer you, Ashley, what I'm uh, what I'm drinking right now is the Frank's Blonde Bombshell. Oh yeah, it's uh you know I I find with uh with Frank's it, Brewing it's 
It literally is what the label says it is. It's that's Just, that's a very big butter bomb to me. This oh, one. really? Yeah, I don't I know don't if it's a, to, like. What do you mean by butter bomb? I don't know. But it's it's full. It's full of diacetyl. That I don't know. That's not helping me. <laughs> I drink this for a Signal Brewing's Radio Tube Pilsner. I like the bottle, but it's weird. It's like it, it looks like it should be medicine. I was even want to see like the Boston Round bottles, like they're like little. Yeah, like, this one by Frank, I really enjoyed. This is the old Comrade Amber Ale. That's the Amber, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a fucking good red ale right there. Nice. Maybe just got a like a bad batch of that blonde because I mean, what I, I had it probably last summer, and it was it was what I would expect a blonde to be. It's just. Oh look. Blonde. Chris is in the chat. He chimed in and let us know it's thir- 133,000 in St. Catharines. Really, eh? Hmm. That, that's surprising. I, for whatever, I would have thought that Niagara Falls would have been bigger than St. Catharines. No, not, that's the reason why people freak out all the time that live in St. Catharines because Niagara Falls is the one that's advertised on the highway and St. Catharines is the bigger of the two. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Well, Niagara Falls is like the attraction. Like St. Catharines, like what... St. Catharines yeah, what, is the biggest one around here until you what, get What is there, there, like, aside from, I know there's a few nice breweries in St. Catharines, but what, what is there tourist-wise to draw people uh, to St. Catharines? Uh, Port de Luzi? Yeah, Port de Luzi. Yeah. That's where we went to Lock Street, like just kind yes. of a nice, yeah. like a little tiny kind of town kind of yeah. thing, basically? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's a town within the city. So thing. not Brock really, University. Not really that much of a tourist draw. Brock University. Again, not really touristy, but that that'll definitely jack up. It's like, well, here there's a Canada College and Nipissing University. During student time, I used to work in the restaurant industry, and when students are in the session, every workday is a lot more busy, kind of thing. Hello, drunken one. Hey, how the hell are you? Not bad. Cheers, man. Cheers. I don't know what the hell is happening. I got the invite a while ago, and um, and you just but, didn't want to come in. I get it. And, uh, well, that sucker didn't want to let me in for some stupid reason. I don't know what happened. And then, of course, it was the nine hundred two, so I had to restart. And the internet's I, learning. It's <laughs> learning. It's always a bad idea to let drunken one do anything. It's learning. Oh, no, it's sober tonight. That's a damn problem. I'm freaking sober tonight. Maybe that's the. Maybe that is a problem. <laughs> maybe that's a problem. You need some yeah, drunken right. shenanigans to get shit to work. Go and get some beer. Go and get um, some beer. Oh, I, yeah, I got, I got beer. I just had a huge dinner. I, I made up some uh, the chicken noodle soup, from, like homemade chicken noodle soup, and the Instapot thing, and it was awesome. And so, yeah, I, I'm full of noodles, and now I got to get my drink on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of noodles. Hey, I'm here at the truck. I have full of noodles ready to go. There you go. How the hell are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Day in paradise. <laughs> Another day in paradise, that's for sure. Okay, uh, what do we have going on here? Oh, ooh, look at this. Another day in paradise is true there, drunken one. It's true. Yeah. I had That's... pretty good buzz on the other night when we were on. I forgot what <laughs> how late it was, but I thought it got pretty damn late. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. on that day. Uh, and I was, that, that was the first night that I had my kids. I said I wasn't going to be on late, and then I was still on it, like 1 a.m. Oh, did you yeah. guys have like an after after show? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, um, we, were, we, were, we were offline for a while there, yeah. Uh, they they left today. Uh, they left at uh, well, my ex wife pulled in at four fifty five. She came in to get them at five, and they left at like five thirty because my son would not get changed for pictures they were going for. All the kids left with all the fingers and toes that they showed up with. So yeah, that's yeah, well. <laughs> always positive. My, my kids want to know when the dogs can sleep with them because they love the dogs. Aww. Aww. Well, how, how old are your kids, Chad? Uh, eight, eight. Well, turning eight, turning eight, turning seven, and seventeen months. Oh, so they thought the young one obviously keep the goddamn dog away there in the bed. Yeah. But like the oldest one, you could probably be like, you know, top in there if you want to. I I don't want to let that happen until they've been around them a little more, right? They've only been around them three or four times now. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, no, fair. Yeah, you don't want the dog to wake up at night and be like, who is this person? And, yeah, who the yeah, fuck yeah. is this? Yeah, yeah. Even though even though your, your dogs are nice enough, I, I'd see them being like, maybe jump off the bed and like bark at them before they'd be like, actually, well, Hel- Helga, maybe, because she seems like, Helga seems like the, uh, you, yeah, and you've called said too, she's the bitch. She's the one that might, Boris would probably just be like, Oh, hello, new person. I'm gonna lick you to death. Hello, new uh, person. The, the, the new the new one is going is possibly going to be scary. I'm trying to get more people to come into the house right now. 
That's an issue that my mom had when I was growing up. They had a chow chow. My mom and stepdad and didn't have nearly enough company coming over. Somebody has an echo, but I'm not sure who it is. It's it's and, drunking one. Does it not, oh, not usually, but anyway, uh, yeah. And like that dog, that dog actually had to get put down because I ended up moving in with my mom and stepdad, and the dog, on the regular, basically just tried to eat me. It was not, oh, nice. Yeah, well, he was right, he like, was just crazy. She is, and again, my my second cousin is an idiot that doesn't do any research at all on the breeds he gets. She's a livestock guardian, right? Now, if she doesn't have livestock to guard, yeah, you're mentioning she, that. She, men she makes her family her livestock that she has so, to guard with her life. She's, so, she's she's guarding a rhino. It's awesome. That's that's the best. So, I mean, you need to have people come into the house so that you can kind of break her of that idea, so that she's sure. not as aloof. Uh, their Some habit. Dog bite, like, oh, well, well, kids though. She dogs are notorious for biting. Your your other dogs might get jealous, but I'd recommend maybe taking her out on like take her for a walk on a leash and let anybody who wants to come up and pet her, let them all come up and pet her so that she can kind of get used to just random people and shit. That might that might that know. might help. I don't I, know. I've been doing that anyway. I don't know what he didn't do anything with her. Like she's she's a lot. Yeah, she's been here for a week. He's done nothing. He did nothing with her when he had her, and she's already a much different dog than when he had her. What did you say her name is? Uh, Colleen. Oh, that's such a fucking weird name for a dog. <laughs> the dog's name is Colleen. Yeah, that's exactly. It's weird. Yeah. It's, uh, oh. Well, Wait, Colleen, Colleen, Colleen isn't. Here. Remember, it's Colleen unique. isn't. Colleen isn't a real name per se. It became a name, but it was an act. It's an actual Gaelic word. Yeah, you said that. You missed that. that. Yeah. Colleen means beautiful girl. Oh. I don't know. So, so if you listen to like, uh, if you listen to the songs like Galloway Girl and uh, and stuff like that, they they use the word Colleen. They're not mean. They're not saying uh, her name is Colleen. They're yeah. using it as the Gaelic word. Yes, uh, as its proper meaning. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, at first, it was going to be Leonin, but that just doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Leonin is sweet. Uh, that does sound more like a name you'd give a dog than Colleen, though. I got to give it that. Yeah. Like, like, hey, Le Leonin. Like, you know, like, Le Le Leon. Like, do some kind of short form kind of thing on it. Good day, Daniel. What's going on? Not much. Not much at all. I wish you had a bloody well drink, but. Holy no. Christ. I haven't seen you in a live chat in fucking forever, man. What's going on? Why, why can't you drink, sir? I'm on antibiotics. Oh. I tried to drink last night, and I had a twenty, a, a maximum of twenty ounces, and I woke up like feeling really hungover today. Oh shit! And I found out that's because of the antibiotics. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh. painkillers. <laughs> yeah. So no, I actually got to uh, meet one of my, uh, I guess, brewery heroes. So the uh, boys from Twin Sales were in town, and I actually got to hang out with them and talk with them yesterday. So it was actually kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. So it was worth the hangover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, it was, it was actually a lot of fun last night. Twin Sales. Oh. <laughs> Careful when you Google them. <laughs> No, I've I've heard of the brewery before. I've never had anything from Quinn Sales. I've so. never heard of them before. So they they make some very amazing hoppy, um, beautiful juice bombs of beers. Oh really? Oh, so yeah. the, that that's kind of like one of my favorite types of beers. Hey Ashley, I heard you want a puppy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> my my wife thinks it's a great idea to get a puppy. But, I would uh, kind of like a puppy, but your 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 puppy's going to be too big. Like, I'm sure. It? Did I say something in a drunken chat somewhere? I'd like to Oreo to have a friend. But I'd, like, <laughs> I'd like Oreo to have a friend that's roughly his size. And just like the my small home and stuff and everything. And I just I I, I, I like big dogs, but they're just so much more like like generally they got the big tail that's like <laughs> swinging and knocking shit over and stuff. Like and you're like just, they're so much more like they don't even mean to be. They're, they're uh, are, just, are you are you bad mouthing the thwappy tail? <laughs> um, you know, Table cleaners. <laughs> like I love those dogs, but yeah, it's like fucking goddamn it, calm your god, control your tail. But yeah, like I don't know, like a small dog is just 
it's it's still a dog. It still has an awesome little personality and stuff. You know, it's not going to be as much of a protector, I guess you could say. But I don't know. I just I love all dogs. Just a small dog is more kind of fitting for my overall yeah. situation. It's, it's, I guess you could the, say. The, one, the one good stuff. thing with with Colleen is unlike Boris, uh, Great Pyrenees are not high energy dogs. They're not high strung. They're big they're not like that. Well, She's, remember they're they're like 150 to 180 pound dogs. Is she dogs. like uh, going to be somewhat long haired? It seems like maybe like fluffy. Yes. So yeah, you might want to. Do you have a Furminator? Oh no, I, I, it, it's going to be the same as mine. I can just say it's mine. No, I mean the Furminator is just a really good brush. Oh, I, I know one. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, they they work really well. Uh, basically for her, she uh. Again, uh, I I might not have her much longer. There, my neighbor is, my neighbors have been fighting about taking her from me. The husband doesn't want her. The wife does. Oh yeah. Well, if I only ever, took. I only took her home. Like like again. Like, no, that was the thing, right? I I only took her to keep her out of the humane society because that's where she was going. Like, well, like yeah. when I saw, her, I was like, really, so really, sad. really, you got a third dog? You don't need a third dog. You, know? <laughs> you said when you said when you said the whole reasoning behind, I was like, you know what? That's actually pretty awesome, but yeah, if you if you're yeah. able to, and, and like at the same I said, time, like you don't I, have I, to I get could, rid of her, but if you, if no, that's the thing. Like I, I could, I could easily keep her, but if I, I don't really want to. I took her to keep her out of the humane society because yeah, and like, and you've already got like you've already got two pretty cool dogs. Like your your dogs are fucking awesome. And they're they're high strung. Well, they they can be incredibly high strung and ridiculous and insane and like just 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 calm down, but. They're awesome dogs, you know. I, well, I mean, dogs. the older the older Boris gets, the less he's going to do that, right? Oh, it's, true, it's, true. It's but a, any it's any a dog is generally like that, yeah. So they're, they're essentially adolescents right now. So oh, yeah, they're, they're, no, uh, boxers are adolescents until they're almost three. <laughs> yeah. Bo so boxer I, boxers are like one third cat, but like crazy untamed mountain cat or something. Oh, he almost he almost cleared the. Uh, Cleared the front gate today. If I wasn't outside to catch him in midair, he was going. <laughs> he was going over to see oh, my neighbor. Really? Yeah. My neighbor was standing there talking to him, and he he jumped, and both his feet were above the fence. Oh shit! Wow. That could be dangerous if he lands wrong. That could be bad. Uh, he just he really likes my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor laughs too because the uh, you've been to my house before, right? My my front fence, like my chain link, is like it's just yeah, and a half feet. It's a short yeah. fence. Yeah, it's a three and a half foot fence in in the front, a chain link. But the uh, wood that's between me and his house is like four and a half feet. So when he pulls up in his truck and he gets out of his truck, close to the door, you just see Boris's head going over the fence over and over again as he's jumping straight up to see him. Oh my god, uh, that's awesome! <laughs> little springboard. And you know he's like, you know what? You're you're new, but he has a he just got a rough collie. His rough collie is uh, is sixteen weeks old, and it's smaller than Colleen is at nine and a half weeks. Uh, but he has a rough collie, and he has a uh, what, what, what? What? What is a rough collie? A rough collie is a bigger collie, basically. It's a like Lassie, kind of. Yeah. Bigger, bigger yeah. than Lassie, because Lassie was a pretty big collie, really. Well, Lassie was just a border collie, right? A uh, uh, rough collie is a little bit bigger and meant to be just outdoors most of the time. All right, because we had a like we had a dog growing up that was a, a Sheltie, whatever. It's like the small little okay. collie thing. Yeah. Noise yeah. all of a sudden, <laughs> he, he was a great little dog. He was he was an awesome dog. Like, my mom is like ever since ever since uh his name was Rudy the Chow Chow. We had to have put down because he wouldn't stop trying to eat. Me. Ever since him, she's had smaller dogs, and it was Peppy. This was his name, the Sheltie Peppy, and then Oreo, who I kind of inherited. Peppy, and, yeah. <laughs> well, he looked like he looked like Peppy Le Pew when he was a little little baby. He like had like the black. He looked like a little skunk. He had a really yeah. kind of weird color to him, so we called him Peppy. And yeah, and we have, cool dog. he has he has the rough collie, and he also has a, a corgi. And the corgi, oh, the corgi, the corgi loves Boris nice. and hates, hates Helga, and Helga hates the corgi. <laughs> so they'll they'll sit at the fence, and she'll just stand at the other side of the fence, going, "I know there's a fence between us." As Helga's freaking out, and then she'll pee like inches from the fence, and then like. Use her feet to spray it at her afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. There's a fence between us, bitch. Oh, that's he's, hilarious. That's... <laughs> and, he, uh, and my neighbor always laughs. He's like, I'm so glad that Helga can't get through this fence because she would rip our dog apart. <laughs> uh, I don't think she really would. He goes, what do you mean? I'm like, she'd probably chase her and bark at her and all that, but Helga really is more angry that there's a fence between her and she can't get to this dog. Yeah. Well, I'd like... 
Well, I'd like to think that, that neither of your dogs is really the kind of dog to just see another dog and instantly be like, <laughs> die, you know, like that's well, well, if, if we're walking, Helga's like that because Helga Helga is English Mastiff and German Shepherd, right? So they're they're protection dogs too. So if we're walking and another dog is anywhere near us, she's like, Oh my god, stay away from my master. Right, yeah. See that oh. now I walk her I walk him normally. He's just on a he's on his harness and she's on a choke chain the whole time. Yeah, uh, she is getting a lot better when other dogs are around because she's learning that she's choking herself almost to death. Uh, so I saw some some company makes like, it's like a harness for walking, and I, I don't know how it works, or whatever. But it's not a choke chain or anything. But it's a harness that goes around, and as soon as the dog starts to pull on it, the way it tightens up around the dog makes it like super super uncomfortable. So it's like it's the dog instantly is like I'm I can't try to pull on it. I really want to get one in well not so much for oreo is usually pretty good like generally where i live there's not really any traffic so i'll walk him like this time of night or like later so i'll just walk him with my leash in my pocket basically and he stays pretty close but like uh rudy the chow chow my mom had what i was talking about he would you pull him and a purebred chow chow has a purple tongue yeah, yeah. Like a very it's very a deep and like and you'd be walking him and he'd be pulling on his collar and people be like Dude, your dog, your dog's choking himself to death right now. Look at his tongue. And if you're like, no, he's just stupid. He's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's the color of their tongue. That's all right. No, no I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing, right? People, people freak out all the time. I mean, I've had, as I've said in the past, I've had cops sent to my house because people say I have a fucking pit bull. You yeah. see Boris. Boris and is not a pit bull. He doesn't Rudy, look like a pit bull. Rudy couldn't, couldn't heal. He just had no concept of like, yeah, I, I, you know, you're walking him and you take the constantly like, get over here, stay here heal heal and he just never ever get it like we had a, a yellow lab growing up named wiley by my dad's house and i focused on teaching him for like two days you know like training him kind of thing and he sure no problem i'll heal like walking through the bush heal with no leash or anything come up walk still walk right beside you the whole time like he mm. some dog breeds are just way more uh Willing to learn, I guess you could well, say. Well, Boris, Boris was willing to learn. The, he learned what the, what the choke chain meant the first time he choked himself. He choked himself once, and he's like, yeah, I'm not pulling anymore. <laughs> I'm done. It, it doesn't pull when I don't pull. I'm not doing it. Well, yeah, it's... it's, it's Hel Helga's almost knocked herself out a few times. You can hear her going, <coughs> <coughs> and she's trying to get away. That's, I've, never, I've never understood, like, what, what's the dog's head to be like? Like, well, why do you need to be... Like, well, then just, just, just figure it out. It hurts. Stop. Slow down. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Uh, no, but the yeah, with, with this one here, with this one here, I really have to, I have to do the proper socialization with her because I, I, I know her breeds. My grandfather's had her. My, my, like a lot of my family has used Great Pyrenees on their farms. So I know exactly what I'm dealing with. I and, like the, uh, the comment Chris left, though. <laughs> She'll be pregnant in six months. I just noticed that now. It's funny. Oh, Helga made it to 13, 14 uh, months, 14 months before I'm she... I'm going to uh, take off for like a minute and finish the end of my vlog here. Yeah, you got to finish the end of your vlog. I'm going to drink another beer. What? I'm going to drink uh, this one from Clifford Brewing, the East Hamilton Lager. Oh, East Hamilton Lager. I, I, have, I have in the spare room the one of the very last bottles in the province of the bourbon barrel aged Clifford Porter. Oh um, yes, you were talking about that the other night. Yes, until and I'm waiting for somebody to come and review it with me. But if nobody comes over, I'll just do it on my own. I am oh. about to open up uh, Sons of Kent, eight track. Uh, eight track. It says XPA. I'm assuming that means double IPA. It's not. Uh, no, it's probably an extra pale ale, so sort of like a. Oh, uh, extra pale ale. That's right. It's only five point seven. So. Yeah, so it's going to be like a rolling rock. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Well, that's an extra pale ale. I'm just giving you. Yes. It's going to be a cream ale, basically. With citra hops. Cream ale. I am, I am working on my homebrewed IPA, boys. Look at that there. Turned out to be a, a seven point three five. It, it, it really uh, attenuated way down, and uh, it's almost got bubbles. This is the second keg of it, and I just uh, I just kegged it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Dan's shirt is way too beer nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's a guy that actually does reviews here in Calgary. He gave me his shirt, so I thought I'd wear it today. Hmm. And I finally decided that I'm going to enjoy the hangover tomorrow because I really wanted a twin sales beer. Oh, uh, send me your mail address again. I have a box under my under my baby's crib for you that may or may not have a shirt in it. Oh, okay. I can definitely do that. Hey, I need a shirt. It looks like you're wearing one. Well, yeah, I can always use another one. Mine doesn't say anything about the Rhino Festival. <laughs> <laughs> what size do you take, drunken one? Uh, I probably like a large or ex extra large if you got one. Extra large is what I what I have a lot of, yes. Great, great, because my fat ass won't have to worry about filling up the belly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's a topic of conversation. What are everyone's feelings about residual yeasties in their beer? Depends on oh, how yeah. much is in there. Depends on what type of yeast, too. Yep. Mm, save it to where you can brew your own. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, like when I pour, I just find it tastes kind of like bile. Oh, okay, so you and actually like I, I don't I like bottle conditioned beers, but I don't pour the I typically won't pour the yeast cake in. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It's kind of gross to me. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, much like drunken one when I I, I homebrew as well, and yeah, like I'm I, I'm not dumping in the uh, the, uh, the that last portion of the bottle, but uh, I'm always uh, I'm always surprised at like a lot of the uh, commercial beers how they'll get a lot of yeasties floating around in there because mm. i just naturally assume that a lot of them just do a lot of filtering and a lot of that stuff would just be sort of kept behind but all right i'm not worried about it but i'm worried about <laughs> shits tomorrow so <laughs> well i think a lot of the the big ones uh, uh well even the ones that would do some kind of uh, uh bottle conditioning that they actually filter it and you're not getting the original yeast that brewed the beer. They put a different yeast in there to carbonate it. Yeah. In the bottle. Wait, I'm sorry. Can yeah, you're talking about bottle conditioned beers. Or on a bottle know? conditioned beer. Yeah, bottle yeah. conditioned beer. They'll actually clean up what, what they fermented to get yeah. the yeast out. And then they'll use a different yeast to give the carbonation in the bottles. Really? That, that, that way you don't yeah, get their yeah, yeast yeah. and be able to grow your own. I'm not saying they're all like that. But that I just that's use the yeast. I just reactivate the yeast from the beer. Yeah. But I think a lot of breweries do add new yeast. Mm -hmm. Really? Right? Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. I, I I knew that that some home brewers would do that, but uh, I didn't think that a commercial brewer would do that. I I I, I just assumed that they would just carbonate it up in the bright tanks and then just bottle it from there or can it. And there you go. <laughs> hey Chris. Hey Chris, how's it going, buddy? You're muted, buddy. Yeah, I know. I was, I was just vaping a little bit there. I didn't want to make oh, that yeah. sound. Right, the the water bomb sound. sound. I'm, fucking, <laughs> on the, on the vape stick. I am drinking um, from Breakwall out of Port Coburn, Ontario. The Shrinking Mill American Pale Ale, and it's my beer today. I uh, know. It's not bad. I uh, I didn't no try it at best. I would say that Breakwell is sort of along the same line as that Frank Brewing in that they just they brew very classic, very straightforward, no nonsense stuff. Well, Breakwell is also going to be doing a lot of uh, traditional recipes, and that's what they're going to use as their their flagship type of stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, they're pulling out all those recipes from the early 1800s that were they found. Awesome, that's I really find, cool. You know what? I find that this like every single beer I've had. From break wall, it's very, has a very nice mouth feel to it, like a very smooth. Maybe they added oats into the thing to fucking smooth it out, but it's just. Uh, fucking, I think it's just really soft water in Port Colburn. It might be because yeah. this is fucking the mouth feel of this beer from this brewery is fucking pretty dynamite, mm. and, and I like it. Again, their stout, amazing beer. Oh, their stout's fantastic. That was the first and the last beer I had at the Albino Rhino Beer Festival. And you didn't get kicked out. No. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. 
There was some other people. <laughs> Look at that dumbass. <laughs> you shoot, you shoot the eyes like you're getting away with something. <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's probably just as well that Redbeard didn't show up because he would have hated himself for getting himself kicked out. Because I think that's exactly what You know what? what Screw everybody that has said that because, no, man, I, I would have been on my fucking best behavior that I couldn't believe at that festival. Mm -hmm. I really would I've never been kicked out of a festival. The only, one I, the only one I should have been, I should have been kicked out of the King City Beer Festival last year because when I got home and was reviewing the vlogs I did, the last three, <laughs> I, I, I was like, I can't, I can't even put these online. I'm talking about the beer and stuff, and the rep from the brewery behind me is just looking at me like, how the fuck are you still here kind of thing. Like, yeah, like I was just gone. That's hilarious. And hey, listen, I just want to say, I just want to say that it's good to see Dan again and Beer Zerker and, and Drunken One. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, That's been a while. Beer yeah, Zerker's no, kind of gone right now. <laughs> he's the oh, one no, he's I wanted to gone. show this he's, beer he's, to. He's, he's, he's been He's the one I wanted to show this delicious, delightful beer to. Oh, yes. What did I, think you, you, I think you wanted to show it to Chris. What is that? Is that the uh, Liquid Arts Fest? Of course yeah, it is. I yeah, I couldn't find any in, in St. Catharines. Oh, Seriously? that's a cool beer. Oh. Well, at the Fairview Mall, anyway. Ash runs on. Oh, wow. What beer Beer Zerker has over there? That is pretty cool. I'm kidding. What is, that? Beer Zerker, what is that? That's uh, Calabas Boreal. It's a collaboration between uh, the Anchorage Brewing Company and the Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales. Mm. Interesting. Oh, Great. the Jolly Pumpkin. The pepper and grapefruit beer I did the other day. Seven percent, like a double IPA with grapefruit peel, grapefruit juice, and some kind of peppers in there. What is it? Seven point what? Just seven. Yeah. See, like when they make this, like how is seven percent a double IPA? When I'm I drinking like seven point two percent IPAs. Well, I just I just said it's a double. No, I've I had I've had a double IPA that was seven percent. That's what I'm, I'm I'm saying. It's weird that some people would call. That a double, and there's got to be something in the brewing process that makes it qualify. No, it was. Well, it's, it's it's just a blurred lines as to what the style is. That's, that's yeah, all. that's possible. Yeah. yeah, it's just blur, <laughs> blurred lines. That's a, that's a good video if you watch it uncensored. Yeah, it is. Wrong message. Oh my goodness. Wrong message. <laughs> I don't listen. I don't watch it for the fucking music or what they're saying at all. <laughs> uh. True enough. Yeah, thanks to you guys. I, I decided to, yeah, just go with my twin sales. There, there you go, go man. <laughs> just, just take it slow. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Yep. These can be my only one sales, tonight. Like, okay. there's, there's still at least, like, I want to say three cases of this beer here in North Bay. People aren't buying it because it's five bucks, which, fair enough. Like, I will, I'm buying a maximum of two when I go to the LCBO now because that's fucking ten bucks right there. But it's... It's like again. Apparently, someone I, I want to say it was Jace Westcott messaged me and told me because it's always Jace Westcott. Oh, but Ashley, Ashley Westcott. This yeah. this stuff apparently the reason <laughs> the reason it's expensive is uh wherever vanilla beans are grown, mainly in the world, had like some kind of crazy tropical storm or drought kind of thing happen, and all the a bunch of the, yeah. so the price of vanilla beans has gone through the roof, and either the passion fruit and mango are also really expensive right now. That's apparently the reason. You but, know what? I, I'm willing it's to so bet. I'm willing to bet the collective arts is just pulling a, the fucking ruse over top of everybody, and they literally just mixed fucking five of the lives, some vodka, <laughs> and some water, <laughs> and, and that's it. That, that's what they did. And they're like, right. yeah, okay, this is, yeah, this you is know that what? beer. Red Beard, you're going to be careful though with that beer because you're going to get sick of it. You will. And I be, I don't know, man. Beer. This this is like I said, like I said in my review, this is one of just not. This isn't one, not only one of the tastiest beers. This is just one of the tastiest drinks I've ever had. And I can like again, two every couple days kind of thing. I'm not overdoing it. I don't think. And again, talking go back to Ashley. This is the first collective arts beer I've ever seen that has a full list of ingredients mm -hmm. on it. I'm not going to take credit for that, but I am the one who bitches about ingredients, so maybe it's me. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're an influence. I, I am kind of taking influence. I am kind of taking credit for finally getting this to be fucking put on sale in Ontario. 
because I was the one who called people and bitched about it. <laughs> it was on sale forever before you did. You could not have at the LCBO. You could not, have bought it online at Collective Arts' fucking website. But not at and the not LCBO. Into the LCBO. You could have had it delivered to your house for and like, not had to fight for three okay, weeks. Okay. <laughs> to, okay. To drive to the LCBO is like, what, 30 cents in gas? To have it delivered from Collective Arts is at least like 15, 20 bucks. So there's, there's a, bit, a bit of a fucking. And again, if I had called people earlier, I could have actually had this. That this probably would have been for sale like right away. I just figured somebody else. I was like, why? I, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to be the one to get this fucking done. I'm just some guy. Like the the brewery or the LCBO should be on top of this, and they just never were. So it kind of was me who finally made it happen. I'm and almost. I, I'm pretty I, proud I'm of myself. Almost, you, you know what? I almost. I'm almost willing to bet what happened is that the sales rep brought those beers himself to North Bay and dropped them off at the LCBO. And that's why they had it waiting. No, 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 not, not even the, the one guy, the first guy that told me about it, because like I go to the LCBOs here often enough, they all know me. And the one guy was like, hey, Redbeard, come to the back and check this out. He had to order it. And he was the one, he told me it was IPA number six. Because that's what the, uh, whatever, that's what he ordered it. It came up yeah. as IPA number six. So he actually had ordered that in. It wasn't the, it wasn't the rep at all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But again, from, it wasn't live in the system. The first, the first day that it, I was so sad because I had six beers in my empty two four thing, and I'm like ready to go to the cash. And he calls me back, and he's like, "Look at this." I'm like, "Okay, take these empty, take these, take these six beers, and give me six of those right now, right now." And I go to the cash, and I go to scan, and I'm like it's not coming up. And I was, I'm like, "No, no." I was, I was so sad, man. <laughs> who wants to who wants to come with me on friday to liquid arts fest i'm not no i would love to if it was a whole lot closer than a, where it is liquid arts oh outcast is going to be at liquid arts there's going to be a lot of stuff at liquid arts like a bunch of breweries from sweden they're doing a live painting mm. of like a huge portion of the brewery or something i saw online <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool it's gonna. It, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty awesome, like collective arts. Just the whole art, the, their whole thing they've got going on with like supporting artists and stuff. It's, Holy it's shit! It's really unique and cool. I like. I like it. What What I don't understand with the Liquid Arts Fest is, is they're they're selling tickets by the session. In like oh my god! Yeah, like, that, that's what they do, right? Uh, a lot of breweries will. A lot of festivals will do that. The London one did it too. Uh, so you get three hours in it as, as your session so they give you three hours they kick you out so you can't get too drunk that's their idea you're not that you can't be there like a certain instagram all day really because oh the, <laughs> i've heard of uh some like i know the uh what is it um brouhaha festival thunder bay has is three they call it three sessions but each session because it goes over three days so you can buy a ticket for the whole festival or one for a particular day, but Friday, just, Saturday, just, Saturday. just three hours seems a bit weird. Pretentious. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised gonna, I'm gonna at how much that, beers actually. you can have in three hours. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah, what, absolutely. What is that? I don't go to a festival. Again, that King City Beer Festival was the first time I ever had a DD to drive for me. So it was like, oh, because usually, usually if it's just me, I go to a festival and have like maybe four maybe five over like a couple hours and space it out so I can still drive home. This time I was like, my sister's driving. Oh my. And, <laughs> and I, I, go, oh I, go my. Each, I go to each place and be like, uh, you want to do a vlog with me? Yeah. Awesome. And we do the vlog. And then at the end it'd be like, Oh, want to get a picture with me? And the person's like, Oh, you got to fill your glass for the picture. So they give me another one <laughs> and get a picture. And, and, and like, that's the thing about like YouTube at the festivals things, man. Like you can ever like, you're like, Nobody and nobody ever asks me for a ticket thing, whatever. It's like I I, end, I go to the festival, end up coming home with like more tickets than I went with, because wow. I don't even know how. But yeah, it's 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 a dangerous way to do festivals. <laughs> I like like again last year at a few festivals, I worked with Lake of the Woods, worked with them, and like he'd be like, you know, serve beer for like a couple hours, then go out and do a couple vlogs, come back, serve some beer go out, do a couple of vlogs. And so I was there for the entire festival, reviewed, did like a video on every single beer I hadn't had. And by the end of the festival, I'm like barely even buzzed. I'm like, I'm good to go. It was fucking, it was, it was awesome, man. I'm hoping to do more of that this year because it was so much fun. Well, like I said, if, uh, if anyone wants to go to the liquid arts festival with me, I will buy your ticket for a ride. I'm blind. I can't get there. Seriously. You guys need to go. 
I just saw Twin Sales is going to be there. You need to go. There's a lot of breweries there that I want to be there for. There's 50 fucking breweries there. Omni Polo. Uh, really? Keller, oh, Bellwoods, okay. Oh, McKellar's going to be there? Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. Is Mc- isn't, isn't McKellar like a vagabond brewer thing? Oh, that- they're, they're, they're having a bunch of fucking breweries that would never be seen in Canada other than for this. Wow. Oh, so man. Sales is my question Canadian, about that. But- How did they That's get all, all of these half hours in there with their beer? A lot of them are brewing in Ontario at things like uh, Common Good and uh, Brunswick Beer Works. So everything that they're bringing to the fest, they brewed here. They, they came in earlier this year and brewed there, yeah. Gotcha. And we, uh, Dan just mentioned half hour. Half hours on Earth, and Chad, you'd mentioned that before you didn't order. I was going to do an all-night order, surprise. It was like yesterday afternoon I was looking into it, yep. and Marcel called me while I was looking into it, and it was like, let's go to Quebec and buy some beer. So I was like, well, I guess I'm not going to do this all-night order. But half hours on Earth – do you not find it like pretty goddamn expensive for their beers? Uh, if you've never had a half hours on Earth beer, I can understand why you'd say that. Half hours on Earth does proper souring; they do not do kettle souring. It's not lactobacillus. Okay, well, like oh, it's oh, they do without lactobacillus. Yeah, I've never lactobacillus, but I've never but their really. their beers are absolutely fucking okay. bananas. Because I I've had like well, I was looking at it. there's like a, the one bottle. It's like a all their cans are the small like. Small pop can yeah. size cans. Well, and no, five, uh, five fifty is the the reg of the average price I saw for those cans. Yeah, for one can, which right. that's that's pretty fucking expensive. What do we have? We and, have garage beer from Spain. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. And then there was a, uh, they had some special beer thing that was in a bottle, but a small bottle, like still under four hundred yeah. mil. It's like, like eighteen dollars or something. Dude, that, like, that that hurt me to look at. You know it's, what? Look at Omni Polo's uh, prices. Look at um, uh, Evil Twins' prices up here. I bought a four pack of their beers for twenty seven dollars. Okay, that, that's exactly. like, but, but like, those those are both again breweries like I, Omni Polo. The only I've had I had some IPA by them that was fucking amazing. Zodiac. Yes, and then their uh, Prodromus, that insane graham cracker chocolate the caramel is stuff amazing thing. from them. And I don't know. My mom actually bought me the Prodromus, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming it would, that one there, though, it was like 10 or 11% ABV. Mm-hmm. So for a can, a big can, I'm okay with like five bucks for that. Like, you know, even this one here, this Liquid Art Fest at four ninety five, this one is like pushing it, mm-hmm. especially for being 5.9% ABV. But again, like, like I said before, it's the Vanilla beans or something that made the price go all up. But holy fuck, there's a brewery from Iceland. Oh, um, shit. Uh, is that Tool? No, no, no that's Kex. Kex, yes, yeah. or Kex, Kex, Kex. Kex. Yeah, they they did a a collab uh, with uh, Collective Arts not too long ago. The hell was it? I can't remember. No, they're, they're, this is an amazing fucking list. I don't even. I wouldn't be able to try everything here, but I would go to the ones that I can't get here right away. Like uh, Green and Grid is there, Fairweather is there, Merritt's there, Clifford. I wouldn't touch any of them. Collective Arts probably wouldn't touch them. Four Winds maybe, but Four Winds I also. You go to the Collective Arts Fest and not even touch Collective Arts. No, because no, there's so the many breweries here that uh, I can't get. Yeah, I guess fair, but you know, I I, I still touch all of them. I still go up there. And no, see how no, I wouldn't be. I have three hours. I have three hours. I'm not going no, to yeah, like calendars. That's that's bullshit right there. That's like I'm, I'm like, you know what? You're like I'll go to dry you're, and bitter you're tell me all this shit, you're kinda of talking me into it. I'd be like, Yeah, I go down, I go down, and then it's like you remind me it's like only three hours per person. No. So get down no. here. Come here Friday morning, we'll go together. I'll buy your ticket. I don't know if I'd be able to get there Friday morning. I still haven't got my schedule for this Friday week. Morning. Get here Friday I morning. I still don't want to work this week. I'll buy our <laughs> ticket. I know it works Sunday. I have no idea I passed that. What, what session are, are, are you trying to get to, Chad? The, the Friday, Friday one. I'm off Fridays. So Friday, Friday the Friday one at 6 p.m. So we yeah. want to be there before 6 p.m. You know what? It's, it's too late now, but uh, tomorrow, first thing, I will send messages to people and get my schedule. And if I can make it, then we'll, we'll see, man. Because I, I, I had a great time in January when I went down there. And like I said, I really, really would have wish I could have been there for the fucking fest and the bubble share and shit. So, like, I'm. It's good times down there, oh, man. I wasn't and at the bottle share. True, but I still probably sure. Uh, I so, uh, business we had since nobody, since none of our viewers are talking to us, other than Tim Brews saying, "What's up, drunken one?" Oh, 
Uh, you had another window open over there. Uh. You know, to anybody that's yeah, new here, I, I will respond to all of you. There's four of you viewing. Talk to us. We, t we respond. We respond. We do. Uh, and you, you, you guys help. You guys help to drive where we're talking. You know, uh, with the cards. Not, the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drink this next. Woodhouse Woodhouse's IPA beer. That one's in, case you didn't, in case you didn't know, it's a beer. It's an IPA beer. I love that. How they, <laughs> how they put that on all of their cans. All of theirs in there. I've had that one. Light beer, stout right. beer, lager beer. God, it's a we, beer. beer. This IPA, but it's it's all right. It's. What the hell happened to Chris? Where'd he go? He left. He left. He was like only here for like two seconds. He he wanted to go fix the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That elevator needs a fucking priest to fix it. Yeah. Goddamn, something, right? goddamn exorcism. It needs yeah. a fire. A yeah. big dumpster tire fire. That's what it needs. Just fill the fill the elevator with tires. Put some gas in it. <laughs> send thing. it to the top floor. Here you go, Chris. <laughs> now, uh, now, Redbeard, if if you'd come to the bottle share, you would have tasted some half hours on Earth because I brought a bottle. Well, I've I've had uh, like Marcel. Last uh, time. Oh, you did. Oh, which, which bottle? Which bottle did you bring? I, Marcel, I, 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 I brought the uh, the totally oak aged. Oh, how was that? I ordered a bottle of that. I love totally. Totally is one of my favorite beers of all time. It's, it's, it's the, it amaze balls, man. It the, awesome. the most, the the, the hard, the biggest one I guess Marcel brought was their star stuff. I want to say, which I drank without Marcel, and he got very pissed off because I guess he wanted to share it with me. I didn't realize that, but uh, yeah, he gave me a half hours on out on our half hours on his glass as well, like one of the big kind of, it's like a big wine glass almost. Oh, they're beautiful glasses. Which I put a once I finished my half hours beers, I actually just did the uh, pineapple Uber by Nickelbrook and used yeah. that same glass, but put my red beard sticker. Over the half hours logo. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I brought their totally oak aged, and uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I wonder which which is the what the, the fucking really. There's a really expensive beer there somewhere. Well, the the uh, the totally oak aged was it was like twelve dollars a bottle. That might be the one I'm thinking of. I want to say I, it was like I can't oh. remember. And Ed, Edge of Forever and Totally are both twelve bucks. Well, yeah. they're see when they first opened. When they first opened, they were selling in five hundred milliliter bottles, and they were cheap. Yeah. They were three seventy five. They're not no, even no, four. No, I, I understand. What I'm saying is, when they first opened, they were cheap. Uh, then they realized the demand for properly done sours. Also, you have to remember that Half Hours on Earth is not a big production brewery. He is doing fifty liters at a time. Yeah, they're only open like one day a week or some weird no, stuff no, but, shop and stuff. It's like again, uh Carrie, they're they're fifty liter batches. Yeah, he gets, so he gets so little beer out of So is that is that kind of like what uh Came and Kettle it's was doing? Smaller than Came and Kettle. Yeah. Like the Demijohn is is more than fifty. The Demijohns is a little bit more. It's like really? sixty five. So, but still, more or less like that style. Kind yeah, of but instead of instead of just doing normal beer styles, he's doing all sours and farmhouses. Oh, well, it's funny. Chris came back. I was just asking how Chris. The fucking the P, uh, my PC crashed on me. We we thought your elevator like came to life and tried to kill you. Uh, -uh. but but the thing with with the half hours on Earth stuff is that uh, if if you don't like sours, you will not like it. It is not a very soft sour. Like it, they don't do, they don't know soft. Like for me, it depends like, on like the kind, like the the barrel aged sours. I've been kind of hit or miss on. Like if it's like a wine barrel aged, then the yeah. wine comes through. Or it's meh. But like more like usually what they have in cans, I'm a pretty big fan of. the The bottles are kind of hit or miss for me, I guess you'd say overall. Yeah. And yeah, I guess it was only twelve bucks. It wasn't eighteen, like I said before. But still, twelve bucks for a fucking three hundred and seventy five milliliter bottle of beer okay. is really. Fucking expensive. You can't deny that. That's really expensive for a fucking bottle. Yeah, it is. I appreciate it though. I mean, unless that's getting a hook around my penis, there's no way I'm buying that. Well, <laughs> see, you know what? If, you know what? If, if you like sours, if you give her the sour, she'll get on your dock. So Again, yeah, even even this 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 liquid art fest IPA is like it's it's borderline. It's it's got a tart sour presence to it. It's almost like a sour IPA. I find that when it gets warmer, it does. Oh, it's 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 this is just so goddamn good. <laughs> like if this was in the three, 
you know, the normal like three and a half dollar, the normal collective arts beer yeah. price range. I would probably have bought it. I would probably have like walked in and bought a two for this shit. Yeah, I know though. I need to find somebody to come to that festival with me on Friday. Yes, you do. Like I said, man, tomorrow we'll let you know for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, beard, you're the closest one. No, I'm not though. Craig, if I'm anything, a... Chris would be the closest one. Uh, oh uh, yeah, did you make that? By, by the time Chris actual, would get, that... by the time Chris would get out of work and then be able to get there, we would be there for like 25 minutes. I'm assuming the head wow. shaking is like, no, that you didn't make that bacon. That's that's pretty cool stuff you're getting right there. Is that what you're eating right now? What? I'm eating pre-cooked bacon right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bachelor, all right? Uh, uh, total bad. So I made I made for my kids hot dogs stuffed with pickles, Swiss. Pickles, I saw the Swiss picture. Bavardi and mozzarella and then wrapped in bacon. They were Definitely fucking dynamite. Oh, wow. I like like I like the look that recipe? It looked good, but the things you stuffed in there, I probably would have changed things. What do you mean? What would you I, have I, I'm not a big fan of pickles myself, so me neither. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, me neither. Like, 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 and then Chad did like the whole like he emptied the thing and then I like, put like the nuts to like make. I would have put red peppers in that pickle thing. flavored nuts or whatever. Like I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, but have but, you, you know, had pickled nuts before? I haven't, and I would I try them. I, I do like I like some uh, like again pickles in general, like cucumbers pickled. No, pickled the shit in the world peppers. Is- Delicious pickered, uh, pickled, uh, pickered, pickled, pickled onions uh, are amazing. I want to say cauliflower, pickled, cu- like pickled garlic is the best shit in the world. Okay. Pickled garlic, garlic is amazing, yeah, and garlic steaks at that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I'll try anything <clears throat> once. I'll try anything once, food wise. Uh, to the uh, five viewers we have, do you like pickles? What's your favorite pickled item? <laughs> I don't like pickled eggs myself, I don't like pickled eggs, but uh, uh garlic steaks are amazing. Oh. Uh, hot pickled hot peppers, fucking dynamite. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Um, that that cheese you got that, that you got at the, that Silversmith when I was down there. Yeah, uh, and salty cheese. Oh my Mar- god! Mar- Marcel has since purchased it. Like Mar- I, I, Marcel's the only one who I told it. I, and I told so many people like this fucking crazy, insane like string cheese. I took a bite and it was like, no, ah! it's so salty. And Marcel's <laughs> like, yeah, it's this stuff. And he like brought a bottle of it. Like he had like a brown of it, like in brine. And it was actually saltier than that stuff. And then yesterday we went to Quebec. He bought some like in a bag. It's like cheese, like a cheese snack in a bag kind of thing. And let me try some. And it was less salty. And but <laughs> it was cheese snack in a bag. Yeah, man. Like like <laughs> oh, what? They sell like cheese, cheese, cheese curds and stuff. Bag. It's like oh, yeah, cheese, cheese yeah, curds. Man. Okay. This wasn't cheese curds. This was like cheese strings, but not like. Cheese strings, as you'd think of a cheese string, it was like a bag of random strings of cheese. It was, yeah, it was weird, but it was really good. <laughs> that 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 small town in Quebec that I went to yesterday, to Meskimang, was fucking awesome, man. It was so cool. <laughs> it was such a weird little town. Like the one gas station, like I said, the the gas station had a better craft beer selection than like any LCBO here in North Bay. It blew my mind. Go figure. Fucking and like every single, there was like three. We went. We stopped at like five, I think five different like gas stations slash convenience stores, and every single place had beer for sale. It was pretty crazy. And the town was very quaint and quiet, and not insane. Like everybody, everybody's saying if Ontario sells beer in the corner stores, all hell's gonna break loose. Ah, <laughs> Well, now's Quebec's the time doing to just ask fine, for man. it. Well, not, not, no, not now. It's already been promised. So there's no asking for it now. That was a promise oh, yeah. that was oh. made yeah. by our current government. It was like our, they're made, they made two for a thing. We're bringing back a buck of beer. Here. It's going to be for sale at all the fucking corner stores. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes of that. I'm not trying to make this political, but fucking Lord help us. We just voted <laughs> in. We just voted in the Trump of Ontario. You know what? Not I'm not going to disagree, but at the same time, like give up, like, like, like even even Trump. No, no political talk here. Okay, no, no enough. political. I'm sorry, I, I said my piece. Yeah. I'm done. I was gonna say, give it some time, see what happens. That's all I was gonna say. Yep, I'm done. There we go. Boom. Okay, as long as you made a voice, then you can complain later. As yes. long as you voted, I, I did make my voice. Then you're good. I complain later. Fuck, I need vape juice. I'll be right back. 
The mustache did not win. Yeah, mustaches not. usually don't win. Yes. What, what, what we talking like? Was it, it was you, Chad? Sorry, I don't want to go political again, but the whole it was you that had the youngest guy ever thing. We were talking about that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that that's insane. That's nuts. Com old comrade is next. Old comrade from Frank's. I really want to get their their. You know, you're now getting into that. That was like an hour ago. You I talked about that. Had no, I had uh, the blonde, uh, blonde, uh, blonde bombshell. Yeah, but oh, this, this was this was guy. He's letting us know it's on deck way before it's coming. So oh, what's yeah, next? This is, this what's after that, Chad? What's after that's, that? That's six beers down right now, and the last oh. one after this will be uh, Sawdust City's juicing. Okay, Chad. Oh. You, so has that just been sitting there getting warm this whole time? I no, it hasn't been getting any warmer oh, than it yeah, yeah, was. Oh man, so juicing is so good. I'm so sad that you're drinking it warm like that. It tastes oh. amazing. Oh, you, but it's so good. You had Old Comrade earlier. You did a review on it. And then yes, I reviewed saved, it. And then you saved half of it for now. Yeah, yeah. That, when, when I do when I do yes. the BDUs, what I do is I'll do a review night for myself. I'll take, because I don't want to drink unless I'm getting something out of it, basically, sure. because I try not to drink anymore. Yeah. Because it's just empty calories that I'm not using for anything, right? So sure. I, I sat there and I'm like, okay, here's the six beers I'm going to review tonight. And I do yeah. half of each beer. Yep. And then I come and do this. So and then, that and I then you see the other half later. Yeah, yeah so I, that I makes perfect sense. It's, it's kind yeah, of like, like what I did. Kind of like I didn't do what he did, but it did like with the stout that I had when I beginning. That was me in the middle of a vlog because like my whole thing. Now is, also I have. I three, drink the whole beer. I have three yeah, videos that are going to go up tonight as well that I uploaded earlier. I just haven't done them up. They were from when Carrie was here. They are all at Plan B. They are three beers from Plan B. Uh, because I have a bunch of videos that I, I uploaded off my my uh, cell phone, and I have no idea what they are because I, I don't I don't edit them at all. I just upload them directly. But I upload, the, I upload them off my computer, not off my cell phone, because if I upload them off my cell phone, then I have to go in and turn AdSense on and all that shit. And if I upload them right off my uh, right off my computer, it's already done. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, Mister still monetized over here. You know. Fancy mm pants. -hmm. <laughs> Be be very jealous of my two hundred dollars a year. <laughs> I am, right? That, 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 that's that's two hundred bucks a month more than I'm getting from doing my. No, 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 not a month. He's in a year. He's in a year. Still, still, You you still. can get a paper route and make his more money than me. <laughs> yeah, but you have to do more work in the paper route. I was gonna say a buddy of mine had a paper route when I was young. I'm not, I may, I'm gonna say overall maybe not more work in general because editing. Well, I guess if you're not editing anything, then it's then, I'm yeah, not editing but... it off the phone. I edit it if I if I actually do a review, I edit it. If it's like on on site stuff, you you've seen my on site stuff. My on site stuff is like two yeah. minutes long. Well, I was, I, I was actually done. surprised like, when I watched that one. That again, like the one my vlog that you kind of put on your channel, the uh, the intro that you did. I didn't even realize I'm like I'm just watching this and it's like all of a sudden it's like the your little albino rhino thing. I'm like, wow, so that was the intro. <laughs> like that that whole part was what he called the intro. And then yeah, so there was some editing, but it was funny. It was good stuff. Cause I, I'm pretty sure mine was cut down more, but that one I looked into it because I as soon as, as soon as I saw it, I'm like well, I, I cut certain things out that I didn't want to have online too, because we were, we talked for about five minutes before uh -oh. the video went on. Well, but before I saw when I saw it, I'm like, did I not do this one? And I so I searched on my channel and I looked at it. I'm like, oh, and then I watched. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's different. That's that's not the same. Okay, fair enough. Because I even, I even titled it in mine. This vlog fell apart. Because I think at the end I didn't even like I forgot what beer we even drinking at one point during the end. I'm like, well, <laughs> what, what are we reviewing right now? What beer is this? Because yeah, like oh. I, I I got a uh, really kind of hammered a couple nights when I was here. Uh, you know what? Don't worry. I do that to a lot of people. Ask Paul the first time he came to visit me. I had him so drunk he passed out in the middle of my floor, not on a mattress or anything. Just boom, out. Yeah, pictures of that. Actually, basically right where that table is back there, that's where he was laying. Damn it. That's awesome. You got Paul that drunk? <laughs> wow. There's, there's, uh, we got there's a there. Colt 45. Ooh, look at that. Look at that doggy. Oh, look at that dog. Who's drinking the Colt 45? Is that Christopher? Who was that? Yeah, it's right. Say, Berserker has the Colt 45. You know what? You know what malt liquor I miss? Mongoose. Mongoose, never heard of it. You never heard of Mongoose? 
Oh. Now we just have Big Bear out here. Big Bear, Colt 45, and Old English. You have to you have to mail me a mongoose, Chad. <laughs> I'm still drinking this break while I don't I don't know what I'm gonna have after what this. What liquor do you guys have out there? Uh not much to be honest. Schlitz. So Soda City is re releasing its uh something something malt liquor. Uh, I gotta go it. take a pee. I'm gonna turn this off like this. Uh you guys keep all right then. <laughs> Mid sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just man. gonna do this. <laughs> I got a bit of a build-up happening myself. Come on, guys. Let's go pee pee. Come on. Oh, let's go. go. Oh, there you go. All three of you. Let's Everybody go. Everybody has to go for a pee. Let's go. Well, I'm I'm house breaking a dog, right? I got to take her out all the time. Echo. Echo. There shouldn't be an echo. I turned off my fucking microphone. Oh wait, I have the speaker still on. Go. No echo. Echo. Guys. Well, that's just badass film quality right there. That's amazing. Let's go. Come on, Colleen. Let's go. Hey, when do we join that other channel that we're not supposed See, to? You should call their Eileen, because that would have been better right there. Come on, Eileen. What are you talking about, Dan? What other channel? <clears throat> oh, do, I, do I really mention the CP name? Good no, no, girl. Is he live right now? I don't know. Well, that's, that's usually what we see when he goes live, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. I you're saying. I, I unsubbed him. I had enough. Chris shit. Peters goes live? He goes live all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Talk about his anxiety and all the metal stuff he likes and how everyone else can fuck off. <laughs> that's pretty, you know what? You nailed it to the T there, Dan, because that's pretty much what the fuck every single video is about. Oh, and here comes the most oh, 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 friends. He got oh, back to the joint. Are you feeling all ripped? Oh, look at you. You still wear like the uh, the muscle shirt and shit. You look as you go. Well, that that's not bad, actually. Look as you go. I didn't. I had no idea, Greg. I had no idea. I oh, want you to dominate me even more now. That's right. <laughs> How are you, Gregory? I also have a penis that's only about four feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like how I like how Greg's drinking after his workout. There's nothing wrong with drinking after you're working as long as you burnt off more calories than you're adding. Yeah. It's, it's, it's his recovery shake. Come on. That's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, Chris, I was losing a lot of weight while still drinking, and I was doing that by not eating all that much. Like, I, I myself, I have a few beers basically every single night, and I, I have weighed the same since I was, like, Near the end, in grade eight in high school, in a public school, uh, grade eight. Uh, it'll catch up to you, I man. the same. <laughs> it'll catch up to you. But at the same time, too. and I, I, I'm aware of, like, my my shape and everything. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not in fucking, like, bodybuilder shape or anything. But I, as soon as I see myself getting any kind of a bit of a paunch or something, it's like, okay, cut back, exercise a bit more, and, you know, just, like, I'm... I know. I'm I'm good. Well, that's the thing, right? Like I I know that for the last six weeks or so, I've uh, well four or five weeks, I put on about ten fifteen pounds back on, and it's because I've been stupid about things, right? Like I'm like, oh my god, I just I just I I've been stressed, and it's a it's a bad excuse, but it's just what it is. I've been stressed. Uh, tomorrow, now that my kids are gone, I'm gonna start doing my uh, my fasting, where basically I'm eating spinach and kale, and that's it for the next. Oh, oh, God damn, man! Wow. I mean, I, oh. I let I let things slide a little bit on weekends, but during the week, basically, I'm eating chicken breast and broccoli or, oh, but, or, oh, or Greg. some sort of meat. Oh, and and Gregory, thank you very much for what you did for me today. Oh no problem. I just wish you didn't oh. spray it in my eye, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, Greg, Greg, I saw, I saw pictures that Nick posted of like Greg year a few years ago, kind of thing, and like Greg is. Oh yeah, like, two uh, two years ago, you see a thing from two years ago, you see really fat Greg. You used to be a that big guy, man. Fat. Like that's. Well, hey, yeah. there, there was really fat Chad two years ago too. 
Oh yeah, yeah Fat well, Chad was there. We're, we're past that, Chad. What's funny is that Greg fucking Greg taking the picture of my apartment, stalking that. <laughs> yeah, stalking yeah, yeah, as we drove over the bridge, I snapped a. I tried to zoom in, snap a picture. I'm like, ah, I can see Chris nice. masturbating. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and Greg got to meet the new dog today. God damn, my wife wanted to steal that dog from me. That dog is so fucking cute. I can't believe the fucking Greg went over to Chad's today. Fucker. See, there's your ride to the uh, festival. Do you work on Friday? <laughs> Greg works. Yeah, Greg he, he lives in the Tobacco. I work, I work on a Monday to Friday shift. Yeah. Nine to five, that boring type of thing. How fast can you make it to Chris's place from <laughs> at that five? Uh, in traffic, like it would be about two and a half hours. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five, I guess five, five o'clock is probably the worst time to, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it, and okay. all the traffic is going in that direction. <coughs> yeah, like I have to get out of this. I have to get out of my house probably around four thirty to get there by five forty-five to get in for six. Yeah, it makes sense. Is it at Collective Arts, the Liquid Art Festival? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it's at the Collective Arts how, itself. How is anybody even gonna fucking fit in there? The mm. No, fun. they they have an entire they have an entire fucking like band shell. They're doing it outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just cracked the Norse Golden Ale. Oh, nice. Uh, but I don't know. You 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 won't be able to pick it up. Look. But they, they gave me these horns. Okay, yeah, you can see it. So right there. They used a Sharpie marker because it, it should be 5.5%, but then they sharpened <laughs> off the first five. So now it's just 5%. They're there still kind of new. They're still, they're still kind of new. Come on now. Hey, well, well, here's the well, thing. I mean, well, at least they're fair. They're not lying to you. They went through the effort to scratch that out on each and every bottle. You know, I know, I know, I know, you know, you know what? This is the thing. This is the thing, Drunken One. They didn't have to scratch it out because they're legally allowed a 0.6 difference. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. actually, maybe it's like four point eight, and they they had to scratch it out. I just think it's funny that the the LCBO because they seem like a bunch of fucking cunts. Yeah. I know it's not as them. good as Vax Premium. That's what I want. Oh my god, he still has the helmet. <laughs> Nothing as good as Vax Premium. This thing has oh, wow. like a Norse thing that goes in between it. But I took that off just so it could be like more generic. I will say though, I I do like their label art. It is, that really is cool. Really that, yeah, that really gold is. with the black. Yeah, I like it. They make uh, some. So they make some decent beers, actually. Well, the, they're they're going to be a uh, beer brewery number two in that area. I think as of about now, uh, Trestle I think is finally open. Perry Sound. They're like right in Perry Sound too, because uh, that place Norse is actually in Nobel, which is like half an hour outside of Perry. They're they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's weird. This is like a like, it's it's like honey sweet. Mm. Very sweet beer. I had the first beer I ever tried by them was not right. It had gone it had gone so bad. They messaged me and got my sister, who lives in, in Perry Sound, to stop there and pick up a package for me and bring it to me like the next time she came to town. And I got to try the beer fresh. It's way better fresh. So I'm not sure about the LCBO stuff. Hmm. All right, I'm switching over to a different beer. We are taking from. Uh, oh, I recognize that can. When I oh, went over to the asked, bottle, I'm, I'm drinking one of these fellas all the way from the brewer's retail, Delirium oh. Tremens. Oh, nice. Yeah, delirium. Yep. Nice. You're going to go all hallucinating y stuff. Yeah. All right, Chris, what do you got? You got, well, I got from, in, from Industrial Arts Brewing Company, <laughs> the Wrench New England Style IPA. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've seen that it. can before. I've never seen it. From who? It. Who's it from, sorry? Uh, Industrial Arts Brewing Company. What are yeah, they out of? Joe sent me one of those. Yeah. Um, where, are they, where are they from? Uh, Garnerville, New York. Oh, really? By the way, yeah, cool. has anyone actually checked to see there if Joe's, on dead, there? Joe's dead or not? Yeah, because been, Joe's it's, uh, is just not... under two months old. Okay. Joe's, not, Joe's, Joe's not dead. Joe's it alive. still be pretty good. Joe's, Joe's getting a video posted tomorrow. He's going yeah. to post it. He commented on Chris's uh, recent video say? saying um, he's also trying to cut back on his beer intake. And yeah, Joe finish. actually, I, I ended up posting, I reviewed it in January. So the I beer had sat in my house for almost a year. I reviewed the uh, 
the resurgence yeah. <laughs> imperial sponge candy and he, he did a big spiel on it about which ones he likes the most and this and that <laughs> why don't you try that Chris? you can like it i, can't I think i had that one smell, I this smells crazy fucking about. fantastic yeah yeah i say yeah joe sent me that one and i thought it was amazing so we have nine viewers. Guys, talk to us. We we do respond to you. We talk to you. We chat with you. Talk to us. Talk to us! Oh my God, <laughs> that's that's easy. Us. Holy fuck. The mouth uh, so feel, huh? Is, so first and foremost is uh, Sweden's Douglas Brigeri is visiting Canada for collaborations and events. Now, Douglas Brigeri is one of the breweries that is going to be at the Liquid Arts Fest that I want to try and get to. Uh, but anyway... On June eighth, they were in uh, they were in Hamilton at Collective Arts making a Baltic Porter with sour cherries. Uh, then they uh, June fifteenth to sixteenth, they're at the Liquid Arts Festival in Hamilton. June eighteenth, they're collaborating at Brunswick Beer Works in Toronto. They don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's probably going to be a hazy IPA with orange and vanilla. On June nineteenth, they're at Blood Brothers in Toronto making a session saison with. Lingen berries, whatever the fuck Lingen berries are, and June twenty fifth they will be in uh, Montreal to launch the rye sour with caraway and orange that they made earlier this month because they came into the they came into the country June first. <coughs> uh, Moosehead Small Batch Brewery is opening this weekend. Uh, this weekend being today, basically. Uh, so they, are, they are opening with a stout, a <coughs> Dunkelweizen, a Bach, a Session IPA, and an October Brown Ale. What the hell's an October Brown Ale? Uh, the latter, the October, October Brown Ale, is based on a recipe from the first beer Moosehead founder, Susanna Olin, brewed in 1867. Huh. Uh, now... As I posted over in the comments off to the side, and we'll talk about that when I, we go offline, there's something over there if I if I decide to do plan F. If plan <laughs> F happens, that's that's there. A, B, C, D. If plans one through five don't work. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I have things set up, man. I have I have I have a lot of different things. Oh, uh, so this week, June eighth to tenth, there's a bunch of new brews in uh, in Ontario. Uh, Signal Brewing just put out a double dry hop. Pomegranate IPA, which they didn't have when I made my order from them. Fuck you, oh. Signal Brewing. Uh, 555 Brewing in Pickton has released a Hops and Bottoms Pride Session Ale. Uh, Beyond the Pale Brewing in Ottawa has launched their Orange is the New Pink Orange Zest Wheat Ale. Mm. Flora orange Hall Brewing in Ottawa has introduced a Belgian Table Beer. Uh, Nickel Nickelbrook Brewing has released their Funk Lab Uncertainty Principle Number One. That one looks weird. Uh, Barn Cats Artisan Ale in Cambridge has brought back the Juice IPA. Clifford's in Hamilton has launched the Extra Ball Number Three, which I tried right out of the fermenter, and it was fucking scary. Um, it, it basically, they they did a bunch of experimenting with the <coughs> Wizard. So Extra Ball was like uh, it, it, it it fucked up, but they're gonna sell it anyway, much like uh, cre uh, much like Dark Horse in the U.S. Uh, Half Hours on Earth in Seaforth has brought the Edge of Forever, a mixed fermentation farmhouse sour age, a sour barrel aged beer in bourbon oak barrels with dark cherries and blackberries. Oh, that sounds divine. And it's that's probably a, a super good that's deal. A twelve, that's a twelve dollar bottle. There you go. Uh, Brock, Brock Street Brewing in Whitby has released a hibiscus Belgian wit. Falcon oh. Brewing in Ajax has introduced their hazelnut imperial stout. Sawdust City Brewing in Gravenhurst has brought back old B.A. Johnson's finest malt liquor, which was not available when I made my order. Uh, Lot 38 Brewers in Toronto has launched Kaiser Dome Kolsch. And Shacklands in Toronto has a raspberry and guava sour. Guava's not... It's, it's very much kind of hit or miss, I find. I don't know. So, you, you know, yeah, I would agree with you on that one. Like, uh, the guava, the passion fruit... No, pa passion fruit is usually pretty it. good. But you know what, the, uh, Chad, you Love mentioned more... right off the they, they, they're using pomegranate. You know, pomegranate, I enjoy as a fruit. I've never really had it in a beer. I'm Neither intrigued I, by to that. be honest. You know, pomegranate as a fruit is fucking 
so good for you. It's one of the most annoying things in the world to eat, but it's so tasty and stuff. Oh, yeah. So you go to like break and get all the seeds and stuff. Dude, and fucking... You have well, to not... do it. You, you, you take it and you put it underwater, like in a bucket, and you fill it with water. And then well, I heard there's a, bu- there's a bunch of different ways you can like bang it and do all these things. There's, yeah. there's like no, you know, you know, who, who you know tucks the in their shirt? One second, guys. One second. We have three comments here. A hook on Chronic asks, Who is the dude that tucks in his shirt? Uh, that dude is chill. I don't know which one of us is tucking in our shirt. Which one of us is tucking in our shirt? I'm the only one that's been standing up. Oh, so is is, no, is drunk? Is it a drunken one? No, no I don't know. Who, who tucked in their shirt? Who tucked in their my, shirt? My shirt's office? never tucked in. I don't know what this I'm not talking. There's no tucking uh, going on here. Be- Beavis Chaka says it ate Saturday night BDU <laughs> without Labatt Blue, the best tasting Pilsner ever, which Hooked on Chronic said is, is Beavis the Reverend? Uh, no, Beavis is not the Reverend. Uh, Beavis, uh, Beavis, it's story. Just I don't, a crazy I don't person, blood. apparently. Uh, you know what? Uh, the Reverend would get along with Beavis amazingly. The Reverend loves blue, it's his favorite beer <laughs> ever. Ever, I'm like, taking it's, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not the best Pilsner ever at no. all. Would at you all, drinking blue right now. I would, but I'm not. Yeah, you, you live in Welland, you would, right? Yeah, of course. After I draw uh, Soda City Juice in his next. Soda City Juice in. Yeah, that's Ooh, a really, see. really good one, man. I, I, I want to, I want to see. I want to try this year's batch to see if it's different. Like they use like, change it up a bit. I don't know uh, how last year's was, but this one is very bready and biscuity on the. Well, actually, you know what? Serving off the ingredients for that one right now. Yeah, here's the thing, though, Chad. I, I haven't seen that one hit like. Minutes. All, all the nut huggers on Instagram haven't been hitting this on uh, social no? media. So I haven't. Yeah, well, like, what's what's the date on the can? I don't know. The can, the can is the can. It just says juicing. It it's no juicing, and it's a peach getting juice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the hooked on chronic is asking who. Uh, maybe he's in your vids with the goatee. <coughs> he's in my that. vids with the goatee. Is that the guy who tucks his shirts in? Is that who's he referring to? Maybe he he's oh, maybe. your vids with the with a goatee. Um, Probably would it be one of the new videos you post? What did I post today? I don't know what I posted today. Uh, you put food. them all with me, uh, and then the uh, red beard one. It could be the guy the that was doing you, I, I think Brian was in one. Maybe it's Brian. He didn't tuck his shirts in though. Brian no, a shirt doesn't. tucker. He can't. He can't he tuck his shirts in. He's too big. Chad, did uh, he, I, think uh, one, I think one with Brendan was up too today. I think I did one yeah, with Brendan, right yeah. one with Brendan, one with Redbeard, and one with Brian. I think is what I posted today. I, I've seen they were up. I haven't looked at them though. I'm Chad, this this year's juicing. Does it like the one I'm looking at right now is last year's? And it that surprisingly, sawdust usually tells you the malts and hops and stuff. No, this just says water, barley, oats, oats hops, and, hops yeast. and yeast. That's the same. Yeah. That that's that makes me sad. Because the uh, I want to say there's been like three or four beers by sawdust that I've had this year that I also had like last year, the year before, and I'm able to look at the ingredients and be like, yeah, it's actually different. So it's it's cool to do a re-review on it, kind of thing. Yep. But this this one they don't say that. I'm kind of wondering, is this like one of the only ones they keep the same? Because mm. a couple of them, like the uh, this year's, I swear, sugar pants. It was your idea. Was a thousand times tastier than last year's, and they changed a bunch of the, the last year's was just a. Uh, I can't remember what they called it, like the beer name, but this this year was a lactose brown ale. Last year had no lactose. They made a big change this year to it. So. Mm. Yeah, who knows? You know what, Redbeard, you would love this beer that I'm drinking right now. I I probably would. <laughs> oh, uh, a drunken one, juice? drunken one. Beavis lives in Texas, where they drink their beer and beat their women. Probably. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, go Texas, uh, go. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> they're, they're not going to beat themselves, right? I just noticed the comment you put in the side chat, Chris. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I know, you know what? I might now. Get your ass down the fucking brooding bottle. Um, I've gone, I've, like, right it's now, literally fucking 10 minutes from my house. Right now, for the next like at least two weeks or so, it's going to be pretty much just Quebec beers because I bought I bought a bunch of them yesterday when I went to Marcel. No, so, no, 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 Kerry. It's going to be beers from all over the world because you're coming down on Friday morning and we're going to go drink it in Hamilton. Yeah, oh, yeah. Beer. 
If if this happens, right yes. I, I will. You need to know soon though, because I need to buy tickets. Like buy I said, tickets. tomorrow, tomorrow, man. Like tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, I'm gonna send messages. If I don't wake up to an email saying when I work, and then if if I don't work that day, and no, you, then, you tell them you're taking yeah. up. You tell them you're having a family emergency. You, you tell them and, that, you, you <laughs> tell it's them already that, scheduled. It's a bit of a if it's a bit of an issue. It's already scheduled. You tell them that your albino friend needs you. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, you're so, so job site brewing is my albino rhino friend who's six hours away from me needs me to be there. Job right site away. brewing company is the Stratford's third brewery. How exciting! Stratford, that's uh, well, I want to say that uh, like I said, the Stone House is Stratford is uh is Black Swan, which is an amazing brewery. Yeah. Ryan yeah, Stokes is an amazing guy. Wild, Wild Child is a fantastic beer. And if you go to black, if you go to Black Swan, I have been there. And, you know, it, you can get any one of their beers done on nitro because they have a they have a system set up that just pours nitro. I don't well, know if they've changed. I went there. Chris uh, is on his way. I went there last <laughs> last uh, September ish. It's the first I went there. I was, my boss sent me down south to pick up some pieces for the pressure washer. I went down there. While I was down there, I stopped at Black Swan, and the brewery is. It, it looks like. Like, they, 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 like, like just like the disarray of everything. Yes. It looks like yeah. Uh, it was, a lot of breweries spend a lot of time making it look clean. They don't. A lot of a lot of them are old. Are like uh, retired. Well, not retired. They just they quit their jobs as teachers and stuff. They do not spend the time to make the place look yeah amazing. They spend the time making the beer amazing. No, it's fair enough. But like, I, I like, I like kind of like you can, you can do both. Kind of like thing. You like, can do both, but you got to remember they have a small space, right? Like True. a lot of places that it's can actually, it, it, a lot it, it, of places that can do both have a big space yeah. where you have a bigger, a bigger staff, right? Like, like one, of, got, one of the nicest I've seen. Um, I don't you. If, if ever you get there, Chad, you'll see. But like, it's it's a hell of a distance. Full beard and Timmins. So. Okay. Uh, well, no, yeah, what I was place, with them walk is, in, and it's it's immaculate, and they actually have like uh, bicycle no, in Ontario in Ottawa is the same. Bicycle in Ottawa is immaculate. It's a big place, and uh, he he keeps the place immaculate. Now the yeah. thing with with the with them them, and I mean I'm not making excuses. Uh, well, I sort of am, but I'm not at the same time. Uh, the Black Swan love their beer. They have a staff of like seven guys at the most. Uh, the only reason they didn't come to the Albino Rhino Beer Festival this year is the one owner comes. There, there's the four owners, and there's three other guys that work there, and that's it. So the one owner comes every year, and he brings beer down and all that, but they can't. And he's, it's selfish for him. He comes down because he always wins an award because they always they always get voted as the winner. And uh, he comes down, but this year he didn't because they were so short. And he's like, you know, it's, again, it's, like, I, I'm not trying to like to knock them at all. Like, no, no, I'm not saying you like, are. They, just... they make they make delicious beer and stuff, but at the same time, like when you walk in that place, you're kind of like, well, at least I was like, like it doesn't look. Well, we it, doesn't do, look, it doesn't look super sanitary, you know what I mean? We do, we do a beerumentary video at almost every brewery we go to, right? And me and Simon went and filmed one there. And I didn't end up posting it because it just it didn't look clean enough. No, fair enough. But again, like they, they make some fucking delicious. Oh, they beers. do. But like I was saying, full beard. They're if you look at them, like on Facebook and stuff, they've got pictures. Like they they do uh, dinners and things where they'll actually have a table set up between the fermenters and the bright tanks and stuff in the middle of the brewery, and it's. It's just like well, it's new too. So within like the last two years or so. So, but they're doing a good job of keeping it looking that way, kind of thing. Like they like we got all this, we made it. Let's keep it looking fucking pristine, and they are doing a really good job with that. So I just I just wanted to say that we oh, have Chad. Average Chad, Joe, what were you talking Joe. about earlier with the lady with your package? <laughs> we got Average Joe lady. in here from 2017. Oh, Joe. the new Joe. <laughs> what the fucking hell? He had on several of your packages. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I do. I have several packages, and the ladies like to handle them. Well, one lady in particular. Oh yeah. Yeah. She sounds like a freak, man. <laughs> that I don't understand how you have more amazing props than I do because I have boxes of props in the basement. He's got the you sabers hat. 
show well, see, that's just saying, why are they all in the basement? He has why to are they next to hide you, his right? face a lot. Well, you know what? Uh, I, well, I guess uh, your dog's we, probably... When we, no, when we go offline, I'll take you for a walk downstairs. Most of the house oh, is boy. packed. There's oh, almost no, yeah, nothing, yeah, that's yeah. That's there's that's almost nothing right. left because I don't know what's going on, right? Like, everything's yeah. still in limbo. So, so that, we'll, so, we'll yeah. talk more in depth of that when we go offline because I'm not allowed to talk about it. Even though it's my life, yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about that it. Show the post office lady some of your amazing props. She, I need a thing. My, Chris, my, Chris. my post office lady asked me out at uh, right around the beginning of this all. Uh, yeah. She, she was dropping off packages all the time, and like oh, two, yeah. months, two months in, she's like, "Hey, Chad, I noticed your your wife and kids aren't around." I go, "Yeah, I'm divorced now." She goes, "Oh, really?" Well, I'm like, "We're separated, you know. We're getting divorced." She's like, "Really? Do you maybe want to go out sometime?" <laughs> no, not really. I'm sorry. Oh, why, some, did you, some why you didn't want her to open your you package? You were, you were looking and he walks all day long, so she's going to have real tight legs. Oh, she does have real tight mm. legs. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. So I just turn her down. Is she an uggo? She's not an uggo, but she's probably about eight years older than me, and I think I can do a little bit better than eight years older. Does oh, anybody so here have an actual pair of old school 3D glasses to look at Chris with? Because I want to. Does, does, right? uh, <laughs> does it actually make him look 3D right now? Of course it does. I'm it's sure I have some somewhere. I just don't know. No, that, that's that's just not appropriate, Chris. Stop grabbing my chest. <laughs> is it, is it just like inappropriate? Is it inappropriate? Chris, how do you? How are you yes. doing that? How are you making yourself three D ish? I'm making it's, myself three D with my Sparkle Cam. This fucking Sparkle Cam, Chris. Chris, Fancy. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised Chris isn't sponsored by Sparkle Cam. Well, it's, it it, be. hey, I want to use my DSLR as my camera, and my webcam, so I'm using it. That's all I, I could use my GoPro as my webcam, but I need like three or four different weird adapters to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> when when a big old pothead. Thumbs up your thing. Of, anyone want to go with me to Hamilton on Friday? But doesn't say whether or not he wants to go. What? I love I love you, Johan. Fuck you at the same time. For the, Chris probably knows oh. who Johan is. Johan I thought you were talking about me. No, Johan. <laughs> Johan, is, Johan owns Singing Canary Hemp Seeds. Uh, it's a company that just roasts. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Johan's an amazing guy. He's, he's, uh, in, he's, he's, he's in last year's photos. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yo Johan is awesome. Johan is uh Johan was gonna come to the festival and not bring his hemp seeds but bring his blown glass glasses. Because he's Bone a glass, glass blower. He's a glass blower as well. But then he Ooh. got too high. He he messaged me halfway through the festival going, I just woke up. What the fuck? <laughs> that's that's great, Johan. Don't worry about coming today. That's yeah, hilarious. I'm on a billboard. I'm just <laughs> oh shit! I'm in a tourism flyer. Oh my god! Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> what? I am. Did yes. I see a picture on your Facebook? I'm in a tourism flyer <laughs> for a Gravenhurst. I'm actually in there. It's a picture of me. It's fucking cool. Chronic says, uh, <laughs> "I want to be in VR." Well, I'm already in VR, but I'm in not VR, just R. He's in RR, real reality. I'm in Tonawanda, New York, baby. Yeah, yeah. you know Tonawanda, baby. And you're gonna be like getting all the brood and you know bottles here, baby. That's the American hey, dream. Should we go see what's in the fridge, guys? Hey, you're not the yes. real average Joe. I'm the real average Joe, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not Tonawanda, eh? I'm gonna assume there's nothing in Chad's fridge <laughs> beer wise, probably. <laughs> there's nothing in the fridge. <laughs> it's like, what's on the floor. Uh, yeah, I wanna see what's on the floor in the next room. That's what I wanna see. Let's go see what's on the floor. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm okay. a real actor. So first, first we're going to go to the uh, first we're going to go to the spare room where the review beers are, and then we'll go to the fridge. Chad, so here we you go. actually oh. should do you should, you should do a couple videos where you do like let's go see what's in the spare room today. And what's like, in the spare room? Yeah, man. Oh, well, you've got them like on a shelf now and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, Joe or uh, Chad, when are you going to finally review your own bathroom? <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god! Right? Let's go see what's in the fridge, guys. That was Let's awesome. Go see the fridge. Uh, Greg, you're like such a smart individual. That was awesome. <laughs> Every once in a while, I am. That was great. I don't, I don't buy good toilet paper either, but it's better toilet paper than most breweries have. So, what's in the fridge, guys? We got some bacon. We got some bacon. We got a cucumber, uh, some yeah. milk, uh, some beer, That's some more beer, it. some more beer. Yeah. Oh, Especially, all right, right. Beer and bacon. <laughs> beer, bacon, a little bit of maple syrup. Good maple syrup. I'm uh, surprised. I'm surprised. Surprise. 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 Surprise.
I'm organic sorry. peanut butter. Why do you have peanut butter in the fridge? Mustard. Uh, because it's organic. Oh, the organic shit. Yeah. I need some mustard. I need mustard. I need mustard. God damn it. Uh, my, 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 my pickled peanuts. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. That is weird. weird. Why are you going until you try it? It's yeah, true. True. Havarti. You got oh, some Havarti. I, see, I see a liquid art fest IPA in there. Nice. Yeah, right here. Nice. Nice. He's in a feedback yeah, 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 here. You know how much I paid for that, though? You know how much I paid for it? Four ninety-five. Nothing. Zero. Yeah, probably. Good God damn you. Because Chad I got four of them for zero. Chad's the raw J of, uh, of Canada. Yeah, right. What, what, he doesn't like is, what he doesn't tell you is Chad just wears a fat suit and steals them all. <laughs> he does. He just tucks them up under the shirt. You want some strawberries? My kids didn't eat them all. Oh, yeah, I'd love one. Uh, send it this way. It's both fast somehow. <laughs> Like Would you mind that. walking it up to can us, it, Chad? Can of dog food. Can of dog food. That makes the refrigerator smell good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Two things. Cat, cat food's, food's even worse, though. Can of cat food? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's some what think of what's going Almost on. Almost a two four of against the current. I had that, actually. Uh, last year? I, I drank that, and it was a big bottle that I bought in Sudbury, and I had it for at least a year and drank it. And it was still really, really tasty. I want to try the uh, the re-release version of that one. Well, if oh, you come I, here on Friday, I have. Well, if you're I saying liquids in the fridge, for guys, it, I, can have. I got that for you right here. It's what do you have? Brand brand you have the fridge, Gav? What that, do you that, have? That, that's a bit Christmas. That's a bit Christmas. <laughs> Let's see what's in the fridge, Gav. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Chad, oh, the movie ass. Okay, well, what, this, what do we have over yeah. here? What do we have over here? Oh, this is another against the current. What the fuck is this shit? How, how is it that funny? One of my one of my things oh, that pissed me off oh, most about We're gonna drink this. I forgot I even had this. What is happening? It's right? gonna be our next beer. It's gonna be the almond kolsch. Oh, there you go. Do it. Barley That's Days weird. Almond Kolsch. I love this beer. You didn't forget. You oh, what, what's in this? What's in this six yeah. pack? Back yeah. Yeah. What's in the Greg's beer review things. How he's like. Yeah. Welcome to Greg's beer reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. The fact he says today twice in a whole bunch of his intros just it, it, it makes me want to jump into my screen and kill him. I it pisses me off, man. I hate it. I got some complaints about Earth. our reviews being uh, 12, 13 minutes long, but you're just gonna have to sit through them. All 13 hey, minutes. Hey guys, not let's see what's in the fridge up. today. Probably, yeah, probably yeah. sitting there with all my. Hey, hey, you can have this if you come oh. on Friday, there, Redbeard. I've had two of those now. It's actually not that great. The what pineapple you, one. What else do I have back here? Right, it's not here. as pineapple as earth. the raspberry one is. Like it's not as much pineapple as, as the, the raspberry, raspberry one. one. How about passion of the lychee? You want some passion of the lychee? That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah I do I'm a hop head. <laughs> You're cracking. In all honesty, man, like, if, I, if I come down there, we're doing at least like we're doing a bunch of fucking vlogs. Like this. You can have yeah. this too. You can have a lady friend. Oh, I want a lady friend. <laughs> yeah, right. The American dream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I pulled two uh, beers out. That's what I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna turn this camera off because I gotta pee. While I'm peeing, uh. While I am peeing, Mr. Joe average, from average like Joe. 10 years ago is in charge. That would be you, uh, oh, Berserker. So oh. oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. What is it? <laughs> you able to drink to that thing. <laughs> drink it out of the can. I don't even pour it into a glass. Going all old school shit. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm messing around here. It's malt liquor. <laughs> Labels out, baby. Tink, 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 tink. Has anybody had the Ballast Point Imperial Stout? Never even heard of it. Sea what? Monster. Sea Monster. No, I, I have. Uh, a Ballast Point is not available in Ontario. Chris, what are you even doing cool. with your camera shit right now? That's what uh, Earth's, Earth's in the comments, so I'm bringing in Flat Earth. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody! It, oh, if any of us were like with you right now, I'd like smack him, smack him, <laughs> smack, smack him, smack him now. The flat earth is real. I love yeah. how stupid people are. It is absolutely amazing. It, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's 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 more kind of sad than amazing, in my no, opinion. No, it's an amazing thing. Uh, it really is. It's amazingly sad. 
<laughs> back in a few minutes. Sorry, right. Dan. Hello. Gonna have regular Earth. So, uh, so uh, anyway, uh, what, what's, what's... I'm gonna punch in here for a second, oh. guys. I'm gonna punch in here for a second, and I'm gonna make a comment. I'm gonna say I was watching a vlog from a uh, from a certain beer tuber who came down for the Albino Rhino Beer Festival. Love you. Uh, but he went to a uh, a real estate shoot and didn't film at all at the real estate shoot because he didn't want to show the property. But then he showed exactly where I lived as somebody drove oh, to my that house. Was, that was fucking oh, yeah. I thought that. I was like, oh, okay, we're going down the street and Nick's fucking filming shit. Oh, and not, not, not only was he filming on the street, he's like, hey, here's Rhino's house. Oh, hell. Right. Oh, yeah. Blatantly <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yeah, right. Let's get a close up of his mailbox or his, or his uh, house number. <laughs> so the only cool for be my first beer tonight. I I did kind of laugh at that a little bit. I did. I won't deny it. So you don't want to show this random stranger's property, but you're going to show a property of somebody that's known online. Well, awesome. in, in, in in all reality, the reason he didn't show the 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 real estate property is because that's my personal business. Like. Money wise, my personal business, so I didn't want him to do it. But your place, fuck it, who cares? It's, 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 it's going to be sold soon enough. Who gives a flying fuck? Yeah, you make a pass uh, well, we, we, we don't know what's going on with the property. Remember, she, uh, well, we'll talk about that offline. We'll talk about that offline. Yeah, it's going to go to the lawyers. Cheers. Almond Kolsch. Out of the fridge. I don't put things in the fridge often. Well, that's uh, Soda City's their adaptation series. Where it's like highlighting a specific hop, they use a Kolsch as their like a, a basic blah Kolsch. As their you, base. you have Earth on your on your Facebook or anything? Can you send Earth a link? I don't, but I I'm don't. sure. I think somebody here must. Like he's Earth has been here before. He's been here uh, before, but I think it was I, Joe that sent. I don't it know Earth's time. actual name. I might have him in Facebook. I don't even know. <laughs> so if Earth, I, I, you if know what? I'll, I'll try to send. I'll try to send him one. Um. Chad, how was the uh, did you drink that beer yet? Did you try it? How is it? How is what? It's good beer. It's good. It's a. It's not as good as the original version. Is it almondy? Yeah, almondy. Yeah, it, it has nuttiness to it. Because yeah, like I said, like uh, Soda City, what they do, like I guess col a Kolsch, a basic blah Kolsch is a really good base to use to enhance the like add something to it and then make that the flavor kind of thing apparently. Like that's what saw this with with their adaptation stuff with their uh, single hop. Earth, I can't send okay. you anything. Drunken one, try sending Earth the link to this. I do, yeah, he's got ten subs, no about page. I, I don't, I don't Facebook. I, I don't know how to do that. If Earth can uh, find me on uh, Facebook or something, I can give him the link if he wants. I don't have any way to send it to him on. Yeah, I don't. And Chad's not going uh, to drop the link in the chat today. No, no, no. I don't see that. Uh, but again, I am extremely easy to find on Facebook. Think of what my uh, beer review is and look up that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just looking for God's sake. He's now by no rhino. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, so our last news article we had opened up was from uh, was from May thirty first. It was uh, conflict is brewing in the craft beer industry thanks to virtual beer, and it was some purists claim that contract brewing dupes consumers and dilutes the concept of craft brewing. And there's a whole bunch of uh, it, this came up because of the Canadian Beer Awards in Halifax between May 25th and 26th. Uh, there was a lot of brewers that hate contract brewing and bitches about it. There's a lot of brewers that don't mind contract brewing and say fuck you for sh bitching about it. Like okay. Simon Bella, Bella Rose Ballou, a brewmaster at Microbrasserie à la Foot in Quebec, I don't think that contract brewers should be independent because they are not. They are just giving their recipe to someone else. That is the case in some cases, but not all the cases. Um, I can't stop for, looking at beers for, for instance, Sam, Sam Corbio. <laughs> Sam Corbio. <laughs> ridiculous. Sam Corbio, who, uh, Sam Corbio, who owns Sada City, was a contract brewer at first. He can't stomach the idea of being a contract brewer. Well, he couldn't stomach the idea of being a contract brewer, but his other his other uh, business business partners were like, we need to do this to get into the market, to get our name out. Uh, so there is, a, there is a big fight back and forth between guys that say, yeah, it's good, and guys that say, no, it's not. 
Uh, really, I don't care who you are as long as you admit where you're coming from. If you're going to tell me that you're this brewery and you're in this place and you're not really in that place, then I'm going to be angry. But uh, not, baby. Yeah, well, exactly. And then there's guys like Jamie Mystery, who is who is the operations manager at Common Good Brewing Company. Common Good is the guy that does the social uh, pilsner, which I love. It's the best one of the best pilsners in Ontario. Uh, but he is a brewery that's mostly for contract brewing, the same as Brunswick Beer Works and a few other places. Uh, some some provinces like Nova Scotia don't allow contract brewing, um, but things like Nova Scotia is a craft beer wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> that place is a shithole. Uh, but anyway, like, so there's places that can't contract brew in Ontario. There's places that can. There's places where you go in and you brew your own beer. There's places where you just hand your recipe over to them and they do all the work and you're just paying them to do the work. It all matters where you're working and what you're doing. I mean, if you're not doing anything, uh, say uh, the guys that do uh, Locker Room Pilsner and, uh, and uh, Hurry Hard and triple bogey those guys have no idea anything about the beer industry they went in and it's rebranded beer it's not even like their it. own like recipe hurry hard. no i'm not saying hurry hard is a bad beer what i'm saying is there's nothing in there except for branding what they're doing is they're going into great lakes brewery sorry glb i'm throwing you under the bus here they're going into glb and they're paying them money to rebrand glb beers so they're rebranding golden horseshoe lager as triple bogey uh, I don't remember which one is Hurry Hard, but they're rebranding three of GLB's brands as their own. They're the exact same fucking beer, just rebranded. Uh, uh, they pay for them to brew it, they pay them to can it, they pay them to label it, and then they sell it as their own. Oh, you mean like when a Chinese restaurant gets a lot of health few violations and they just change the name? Exactly, exactly. That's oh. actually like the, uh, the Toyota Matrix back around like 2005 or so was the exact same car as the Pontiac Vibe. Exact same car. You, you, different you, you say that? And the hyster hysterical portion of that is my buddy Boychuk, who a lot of you know from watching this review. He drives a Pontiac Vibe. He is yeah. a he is a he is a mechanic who works there on There is no possible way games. that a Toyota would use a Pontiac motor, so the Pontiac must have used the Toyota motor. No, I, I'm not sure. But I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was the Toyota, but the Toyota. It was the same fucking, it was the same. No, uh, yeah, they, the, the, Toyota, the, the Toyota, based, they were, that's when Toyota started making things in North America, and they were making it all at the, uh, at the Pontiac factory, at the GM. Well, like, well, the, the Corolla. And the matrix, the Corolla was the Matrix. They were the same thing, just a different body on it. That, that's how it was. And the, well, the Vibe. Corolla, I thought you meant the Pontiac was, Vibe. Oh. That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the Corolla was the Matrix. The Corolla and the Matrix were the two Corolla. They're the same thing. The Matrix was the hatchback version of the Corolla, basically. And the Vibe yeah. was the same thing as the Matrix, down to fucking everything. The body looked different. You step inside. And like the, Pontiac the, steering, can't the, use the Pontiac, the Pontiac, the steering wheel had a Pontiac symbol instead, but everything else is exactly the same as the Matrix. It was fucking hilarious. Well, mm. they use a good engine. That's an upgrade. And when he says exactly, he means exactly. Like the, the well, everything is exactly yeah. the same. Like and Toyota, 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 Toyota's been good for like stuff that lasts for a long time. Like myself, like my last Toyota I had. The only reason it died is that I didn't have the whole, most of the time I had it, I was working a job where I was barely making enough money to get by. So I didn't have any kind of any extra money to put into the car to keep it good. And when I finally did, it was like already too late. But if I had been able to keep up on maintenance oh, on the car, 30 bucks. it would have still, there's more than that. <laughs> stuff like it was an older car. Stuff was starting to fucking fail here and there, but yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ass face, ass face. <laughs> oh, I wish you were here for the bottle share. Man, I would have had. So I, I believe I'm pretty sure I had a great time. I like at the end of Gee's video when I was playing fucking "Wish You Were Here." Somebody commented saying, "It's like he's singing the Red Beard." Yeah, no, I saw that. I, I, I thought he, I thought he said he was singing. I right, I re-listened to like the last five minutes of it, like five times. Listening for someone like <clears throat> making a reference to you know, me, song, meeting cousin Pascal like, was awesome. Meeting uh, cousin Pascal yeah, was I awesome. I wish, I wish he was here longer because I really didn't get to know him very well. 
I just, hey, here's Cousin Pascal. Hey, Cousin Pascal. Uh, you, uh, so, actually, did, you, Chris, did you meet up with him? Jack? Yeah, he was, at, he was at the festival. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously at the festival. Uh, Chris, you should have kept uh, the live I, chat I, I going also met up, I also I met up with uh, I also met up with Nikolai's brother who got kicked out of the beer festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah a, you're he was you're was kicking those youngins out. Sometimes you have to, right? What were you saying, Carrie? What were you saying? You should have kept the live stream going for like longer. Just on just everybody sitting around just talking and stuff. Like at no point was it like really basically no, what the live there. stream was, it was basically it was the live stream was focused done, on being out. a live stream kind of thing, but like I feel like from like the videos and stuff I saw and it went for a good let me, let me, let me tell I, you why I'll tell you why I stopped the live stream for the bottle shares because it got a little bit it got a little bit racy towards the end, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna." We end said it. the word penis. No, no, it's not <laughs> well, that, that's fair enough. I don't really remember being that bad, but but like, you know what? It was a good. You know what? I wanted to start it at the beginning, and I did, and when it was over, I ended it. And no, Chris, no, yeah, Chris fair, kicked fair us out it, shortly after, so it, it yeah. did <laughs> seem like it did seem like a fucking like just like the number of like when I saw in the uh, bottle share Facebook chat thing, like when they're like. Uh, who was it that I think it was Ashley was like, I'm here. I met Paul in the parking lot. And they're like, Paul and the picture of PA Brunus confirmed and stuff. I was like, what the fuck? Really? Yeah, Paul's was, there now? Yeah, like, what yeah. the hell? Yeah, I was. I don't think anyone expected that. I really, yeah, yeah, really yeah, but, wanted uh, to be there. I, I pretty much knew he was coming. I just didn't tell any of you. Oh. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty. Um, well, thanks, Chad. Thank you. It was pretty epic because we had. Um, the whole thing about the whole live stream of the bottle share is that not everyone's in it all at the same time. There's people who aren't in it. And there's some points where you got all the drunk people at one point in the, in the thing, and me, Jamie, and, and Joe, we're outside on the balcony. We're just talking. stuff. So then there's points where fucking Greg's going out for a cigar and fucking well, and Nick's like going it, out for a cigar. Had to do oh, like, shit. Thanks for the idea, Chris. I'm going to have a cigar after this. Thank you, you, Chris. It kind of had to do with like who's at like, like Paul and Greg and uh, Nick and Guy were kind of in it for the longest because they had like they had their places at the table kind of thing and everyone else kind of came in and came and went. Jamie was barely in it at all. I know. Well, Jamie, 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 that, was, that, was, that was on purpose. So it, it really didn't matter. But, <laughs> oh, oh, I love Jamie. Um, if Jamie Nick, was there was the not entire good video, the there would have been way too many wet, damp panties. So, oh, there's Jamie. Hello, he's Jamie. in the chat. <laughs> hey, he's in the chat right now. Well, I mentioned to uh, Nick, I think it was that it would have been cool because, like, I was fucking supposed to be there. If somebody had like started just like a private hangout with me, and I could have been like on a tablet somewhere in the room, right. kind of still like been part of it, but not part of it, kind of thing, that would have been fun. Yeah, we would have rubbed our earlier. gentles. I, I would have totally have done that if you would have told me earlier. I would have been cool. The laptop for that. <laughs> that would have be been fun. Hello, Jamie. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm trying to get myself out to uh, Kitchener Waterloo in the next week because I have money to drop off there. So if I do, I'll tell you I'm coming. Why don't you just email? Them? Uh, not, why don't you yeah, just uh, transfer? Does everybody know what uh, just transferred? Uh, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna post over in the side here, Chris. Why I'm not doing that? Just no, so I mean, you know. I'm talking about sending just cash. No, no, just, look, just look, post. Look, look, just post. Look, 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 look over in the side. That's all we right, know. Right, you don't have to. I already know. <laughs> right. I already got it. Uh. <laughs> I'm having a flying monkey's wonder star. It's botanical as fuck. Dude, oh, I fucking God. liked that last night. We would have put Redbeard live stream in the toilet. Actually, it would have been sitting on the toilet. It would have been fucking hilarious. No, so Greg, so yeah. last night, uh, I was with him. We were in the kitchen. We were drinking. And then I had that. And I really like that beer. It's so fruity and fucking weird, but I like it. It is very fruity. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I like it at this point or not. It's a little bit little bit strong with all it's the weird. flowery and shit on what it. What beer is this? What beer? What beer? It's called Wonder Star by Flying Monkeys. It's it's a botanical lager. I've never seen that before. Like, put up your camera let me see it. Like, well, as best you can see it under the low light well, conditions. The, the, it's, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's very okay. flamboyant. I've never and seen, I've never seen that before. I don't see that either. Is that like LCBO? LCBO? I just saw it from Lucebo uh, the other day. I was just grabbed it. Figured, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed that last night. I was I was a little pasty in the mouth, so it's like... And <laughs> so what, that and spot, what, you, so. what, what is that beer, sir? What, what is it? 
It's a it's botanical a, logger. It's called a botanical Flying logger. Monkey's Wonder Star. Interesting. Like it almost looks like it should be a beer for pride or something because it's it's very flamboyant. Yeah, yeah it does. Very much so. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. You know what? I am straight as a goddamn arrow, and I, I like being flamboyant now and then. It's fun. Everyone's straight until they suck their first dick. Uh, <laughs> and onto that, I'm uh, so it begins. You know what? You know, I, 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 did, I did say earlier. I did say earlier. I'll try anything once, as far as like eating things goes. Is, you know what? I don't know if eating dick is a thing that I would put into that category. Hey, uh, the, whole, the whole, whole cheese steak thing, no, it ain't that's for me. not something I want. If, if you know, like gun to my head, kind of thing, like you're gonna die or eat this dick right now. Like I may, may I don't know. Like, but it, yeah, it that's... better be a big guy. It better be a damn big guy. <laughs> <Yeah. Nah. laughs> I'm gonna chew on it, man. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. That's right. Uh, would you would you, you suck know. would you suck a dick for a million bucks? <laughs> you know what? For a million, I would just I Jesus like a whole. It would, it would, it would, now we're getting into like semantics. A million dollars is a lot of money. Yeah. So like, would you do it for a like, hundred? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's, it's, a, it's like a homeless person like who hasn't washed in fucking eight years kind of dick, or is it like? Oh, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, man. Why are you, why are you contemplating? Man, I, 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 a million it's dollars. A million dollars. You could choose. You could choose between the albino rhino's dick or drunken one's dick. Oh, I'm all over. Yeah. I'm all over Chad, baby. I'm all over Chad. Woo! Uh, all over Chad. Yeah. Uh, drunken one feels awful. Nothing against you, man. Just. Oh, no. Thanks, uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> you don't know. I just don't know. My last, my last moral beer that's labeled. That's the, that's the lighter up one, eh? Uh, this is the lighter up, I, yeah, with the, with the jeans, with the zipper. Oh, that's oh, cool. Hey, show us that. Yeah. Now, so, Old Tomorrow Johnny is amazing. So, Old Tomorrow Johnny was, uh, was always at the Albino Rhino Beer Festival with Double Trouble. And then he moved on to Old Tomorrow, and then Old Tomorrow bought Double Trouble. So it's actually kind of a hysterical little uh, story. And I really like this Barley Days glass. I really like this Barley Days glass that I did not order that was just sent in my Barley Days order. Thank you, Barley Days. Okay, like, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just I'm stuck on the point where you say it's a funny story, and then you like kind of skipped over to tell the story and said, look at this glass. Well, what was the story? The story was that he worked for he worked for fucking uh, he worked for Double Trouble and then Double Trouble got bought out by the company he started working for. But that was yeah. it. Okay, I thought there was more to it. All right, so I'm drinking from uh, out of fucking Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada, from Trailway. I'm drinking their good weather. Hey, have you sent fucking Nick his box yet? Nope, I haven't. Okay, not. you have to come here and get some shit for Nick. What is right. the good weather? What is, what is this beer? This would be an American IPA with pineapple, citrus, and melon. Oh, fuck you, man. That sounds really good. This is going to be fucking... Oh, is, it, is, it, is, well. is it fresh? Is it fresh? Uh, this, uh, this is like 10 weeks old. Burn. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. Can you see the can? Is that cool? What, what do you uh, mean? What's stupid? Is it old? It's stupid? Like, no. That looks stupid. really... Oh, my God. That looks... That looks oh, the color really, of that. Holy crap, right? Really good. Oh... Yeah. Oh wow! And, and it fucking smells dynamite. Oh wait, god damn! Like ten and a half out of ten. And Chad, and, and, and probably even Dan, because he's like in like kind of a out west beer hub kind of thing. Broken <laughs> one too. God damn, pretty much everybody and all your like more. This is better than well, the fucking wrench. You guys Broken can all one. like just go god. like. On a tiny little road trip, and hey, get unless these awesome and beers. you know what, you can fuck yourself. Unless I pay for fucking shipping, I'm not getting any fucking good beers. Okay, you know what? I'll give you like, well, that's not not so much. Like, if if you were able to drive, which reminds me, I should have made, I should, thing. made I should have made an order with my good buddy Greg when I knew he was coming down, but I didn't make it. Uh, uh, damn. Yeah, you fucked up. Although, Chad, I, I might be back <laughs> next Saturday. So next Saturday, okay, I'll I'll look at the breweries really close to you, and I'll tell you if there's anything I really ah, need. You yeah. Fucked up. <laughs> yeah, have a look. It's not a hundred percent, but there's a reasonable chance. <laughs> this beer is not just. It's not even fucking like a, a pineapple juicy color. It's more like a dank. 
fucking. Well, no, it looks like it's fucking juicy. It, it is dark. Is it like, that's like hazy as fuck mm -hmm. right there. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh. How is, it? Is, is, it, is it that good? Is it good stuff? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. better than the wrench. And, uh, oh. Yeah. oh, I hate you right now so much, Ben. I hate you. Right. <laughs> I, I thought the wrench was pretty like awesome. That, like that, that's like that style of beer has become like a hazy milkshake slash New England style, any kind of like just thicker kind of juice balm. It's South. funny because it's funny because like, it, the, the the ingredients here are pineapple, citrus, and melon. But I'm getting a lot more melon than the other two, which is actually really nice because you don't get a lot of melon because melon's a very hard flavor to fucking. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had. I'm a getting a lot like, of melon out of this. Melon, like melon it. isn't generally one of my more. Look, it's a water-based like, fucking fruit, right? So you're looking at pineapple is too, but I mean pineapple has that sourness too. Oh, they're all they're all fruits are. Watery, but yeah, I'm just saying, that, but. melon, me melon generally, like, I don't like watermelon. I'm not a fan of cantaloupe. I don't like really anything, but. Why are you so racist, man? When you, I just the way I am, man. It's so racist but to the goddamn fruit. You, you, you put it. Right. <laughs> <It's like laughs> down, but like, again, like, even grapefruit. I hate fucking, I cannot stand grapefruit when it's on its own. Really? You put it into a beer in the right. And it's amazing. Proportion, right? and it can be really good. You put it too much, and it's like, yeah. I have a Sauna City grapefruit rather can in my fridge right now, and I am kind of scared to drink it because I'm scared there's going to be too much grapefruit. I'm like, oh, I hate this. No, it'll, it'll probably be a little sweet, I think. It's like Sauna City is my – they're my favorite – Kind of overall brewery, far things that far they as far as things I've had from them as much as I've had, like, I like like I've loved so much I've had from them. I had a bunch of beers from them. Like yeah, they're, they're my they're my brewery, they're my boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up with the oh yeah. He's gonna have to go clean up now. <laughs> no. Oh yeah! <laughs> I, th I think all of us would, would be very sick to say that we all have our our home tomb, like our hometown brewery that we just always go to. Well, that's fair. Like, that's was, crazy. Was, Sauna City's our hometown. I have to drive an hour to get to Sauna City. My hometown brewery. There's New Ontario. New Ontario. They should be your hometown brewery. They are, but the their core beers they make aren't as. Mm -hmm. They're 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 good, but they're nothing that like they're not enough. Like they don't make, they make a session IPA. Is one of yeah. the four, and it's not so what you're enough. Is their core beers are not hardcore. They're exactly, not hardcore. exactly, exactly. Cool. exactly. Like they they they. I well, I've I've told the Mike the head brewer a thousand times. All I want from you, man, is like some super awesome, super juicy, amazing. Like you need to make some good, amazing, crazy blow your mind ipa that makes the word travel kind of thing because right now like all the beer like that the four core beers are a blonde a, yep. ho a hoppy red ale which is they're all good a blonde a hoppy red ale the session ipa and an english pale ale think about where you four. live though who is he selling his beer to true again like it's it's all kind of area. easy drinking it's all like nothing yeah. crazy but again, like that's not what I my my palate has evolved to the point where like now I want I crave those crazy nutty hoppy kind of I want something more than just an average beer kind of right, thing. Right. I guess I what they need is the Nats refreshing brown ale. Well, they, they make, like, even like I said, like, uh, Chad has an order that's arrived. He's got to pick out tomorrow, I guess. But uh, they have a sour IPA and a sour maple ale right now yeah. that are both fucking delicious. I'm sure They're, the sour maple ale was just the maple ale that went sour because maple ales are yes. really, really hard. Well, no, that, that, that's one. This one they actually did. Like no, I, no, I, go, I go, I go, I go in there often enough. I don't I, care if you go in there often, often enough. If anyone's ever brewed with maple, it's almost impossible to keep maple from going sour. 
Yeah, uh, but, you know what hey, yeah but you know what? You know what? They have done the uh, fucking what's it? Sap sucker maple brown ale for like. Yeah, and how long now. was it before it went sour? Usually, it's no, no more no, than again, a month though, and a half to two. Again, months. though, they've done this beer for this long. They've been doing it for this much time. And this year, I talked to them before it was even being brewed. And they said, we're changing it up this year. We're going to try a maple sour ale. So it was actually supposed to be a maple sour ale. I can actually attest to this. It, that That's the way. And it's a fucking delicious. It's like a maple sour candy. It's- Innocent Gun did a beer where they finished it with maple, and it had, like, sweet maple flavor. Innocent Gun, a lot of their beers. I, I Somebody told me this recently. I was just talking about, like, how the beers that make it over here from there, especially like their old age beers and their stouts and stuff are generally pretty damn tasty. But I find myself anyway, IPAs and anything that's supposed to be hoppy is not. He's like, they think about this beer being in a shipping container on a ship, traveling across the ocean on a hot day where it's just like cloudless and the sun just beating down the shipping container, baking it. You know what I mean? Like that's gonna fuck up your beer. It is, and yeah. like that, 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 that's oh, kind of that, like you know what? That's not necessarily true. It's not like it's fucking. Yeah, but an you IPA, know, I guess, a stout or something. Not, sure, a stout is gonna make it an IPA or something with something that have the hoppy flavor. You yeah, bake but... that, you're gonna bake that hoppy flavor out of that beer, man. Yeah, but you're you're assuming that all the shipping containers are on the perimeter of the boat. <laughs> right now, no, yeah, they're way down. It could be buried in in the b- yeah, bottom. Yeah. No, you know, fair, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. No, I'll I'll give you that. that at, the same time, yeah. at the same time, I like the fact that it gives an excuse for the fact that so many innocent gun beers that I've tried that are supposed to be hoppy and fragrant and blah 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 are just like malt messes. Like may- maybe they are on the top fucking floor of that shipping container. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of fucking innocent gun and, and their shit. Anyway. Um, uh, I, 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 I find I, their I, stuff is way too. I, I don't know how to describe it. it. It's it's I, more, it's very hard to drink their stuff. That's that's the way I see it. For innocent, I, gun. I find their stouts and their their like oak aged beers, like the aged kind of the ones that are supposed to kind of sit around for a while. Those beers tend to be. Pretty damn tasty and impressive. But you mean anything like the, white any, oak, any, the white oak pale ale? I don't know if I had that one. That one was really good. But a lot of their beers, like I was gonna say, a lot of the beers that are like meant to be hoppy and fragrant and I have a can right now of their gunpowder IPA in the fridge. Okay, I'm not I don't have high hopes. Well, here's the thing I'll say about uh, Innocent Gun with some of their new stuff. They got their mangoes on the run. They got their gunpowder IPA. Mangoes on the run, the one I had, the mangoes had run away. Yeah, they were. Great. <laughs> yeah. That's, it was that's great. Thanks. That's great. Thanks for interrupting me, Redbeard. Uh, anyway, what, I'm else, what else? I love you, buddy. Don't interrupt again. I'm just keeping going. I, I, I don't feel it. Got it. Nah, that's go. okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, all, all I'll say is that with Innocent Gun's new beers, I'll say at least they're trying new flavors. They don't just taste like every other fucking beer they've been making for the last 20 years or however no. long they've been around. So I give them a credit. They're trying. The Gunpowder IPA, I think, is a perfectly fine American IPA. It just, I haven't tried it's, it. it. It's fine. Uh, the mangoes on the run, I did also did not taste the mangoes. I tasted, um, to me, actually, I tasted black currants from it. So like, I didn't hate it. It was just like it was, it wasn't mango-y. It tasted like more of the uh, like British-style IPA. And I found that like it didn't work as like a hoppy awesome ipa yeah the mangoes too it's like oh my god it just accentuates that but but yeah like and trying new things again like i'm saying like a lot of these newer innocent gun dark beers are awesome i love them but some of the they're they're hit or miss on the hoppy ones i find so i'm pretty much agreeing with you greg i love you man you know i love you come on now you guys ever tried swish i don't even know what that is Swish, like shall I? Swish. <laughs> no, swish. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Like the the shit. Like you put water in a in a bourbon barrel or. Uh, no, no. But I have. <laughs> your micro. I think your microphone's possibly dying there. Yeah, uh, you're. Uh, something's happening. I can't. 
I see your mouth moving stuff, and it's going to you, but I can't hear you. Yeah, we see that mouth moving. <laughs> and I'm still laughing in the back of my head, like, Greg, that was a great comment, man. It's Chris Shelley. That was Wait, fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Hey, so Chalet, it's a Canadian tradition. <laughs> it's the only reason we can get Joe to cross oh, the border. Ho- Hooked on Chronic asked if I liked Stone Brewery, and I guess I'll leave it to you guys. Do you guys like Stone? I don't like uh, Greg Cock at all. But uh, Vina is terrible. Choco Vesa and stuff like Choco that. Vesa, I love Choco yeah. Vesa. Choco Vesa is an amazing beer. No, not uh, my opinion. No, well, that's fine. Everybody has a different opinion. Exactly. We all agree with that. That's perfectly okay. Well, like, I love I love Choco Vesa. I love a lot of the beers he makes. Uh, Crime and Punishment. I like both of those. Uh, there are beers that I love from him. There's beers I don't love from him. You guys are doing uh, what? You guys are doing Arrogant Bastard on Wednesday? Arrogant Bastard. Bastard. I'm not a fan of that beer. Uh, I might go and see if I can get a bottle of uh, Arrogant Bastard and join you guys. But because uh, I, usually if I'm off Wednesday nights, usually I go to uh, Bugsy's with Boychuck and a few other people. But Boychuck will not be at Bugsy's on Wednesday night. So I don't know what Bastard. I'm doing on Wednesday night right now. He's oh, going go. to be in Brantford picking up an award with his girlfriend. His girlfriend's oh. getting an award. So, yay, Boychuk girlfriend. Um, she almost misses Boychuk. Almost. <clears throat> almost misses Boychuk. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, here's the thing with Stone. I don't know Greg Cock. I don't know a, a single thing about him. I just know you hates him, so I assume I probably would like him because I want to automatically – like the that Ewer hates. Yeah, yeah, I want to try and be opposite of Ewer. Um, I don't know. So most of their beers I've tried have been just fine. Like, they, I don't know if I've ever had a beer that I thought was bad from them. I've never had the Arrogant Bastard, so it's going to be interesting. On the what? Website. I've got one in the fridge. Yeah, I've never had it. Wow. Okay. I, I, had, I remember. I can, I can check my. I, I'll check my untap, but I. Don't, I don't well, I mean, it. right. If, if, if I, I'm thinking about. I've had it, and y'all, or somebody here has it. Wow. <laughs> I've had it. Yeah, that's why I was impressed to see that one you had a while ago, the wrench, and and I wouldn't have gotten it had it not been for. Uh, uh, patrol. Beer patrol, oh, Joe. Yeah, yeah. He sent me some awesome ones. He sent me the Congress Street from Trillium, which I thought was amazing. I, I, I'm not a beer reviewer, and I don't usually get those fancy beers like that, but um. Yeah, he, he did send me some some uh, some good ones, <laughs> and one in a green bottle called um Heineken. Heineken. <laughs> Heineken. That was that was just as a gag. That was just as a gag. <laughs> you know, that fancy one in that green bottle, <laughs> skunky. <laughs> yeah, like we haven't had it. Uh, <laughs> no, Joe, Joe's awesome. Yeah, I, I forget he sent me. I don't know. He sent me like six eight beers. He, he sent me a few of them. They were all damn yummy, especially that green one. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Stone from what I've had from them, but I like the arrogant bastard dude. But I like American barley wines. So. I really like the arrogant bastard mustard I had. Joe brought me a mustard and a hot sauce. Arrogant bastard hot sauce. Oh, wow. they were both good. I wouldn't so, trust yeah. any mustard from Joe. <laughs> well, Joe. Joe ate some rhino balls, so I have to trust anything Joe brings me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, geez, Joe, Joe actually to, showed up one day. He, I wasn't expecting him to show up. He showed up about four hours early, and I had rhino balls just coming out of the oven. And he's like, hey, rhino, I got some beers for you. I'll be here in another four hours. I'm like, hey, before you go out to your restaurant, do you want a rhino ball? He goes, what the fuck's a rhino ball? <laughs> this is a rhino ball. <laughs> and it was, it's my meatballs, and my meatballs have Parmesan, Parmesan, mozzarella, feta, Bacon, uh, gar- yeah. like, my meatballs are giant and they have a bunch of stuff in them. And he's like, I'll eat one of your balls. God and damn, I want to try your balls too. Yeah, he shared, he shared right? with Average Dad, and both Average Dad and Average Joe loved the rhino balls. That sounds amazing. And that was a great, uh, <laughs> great Joe you just did there. <laughs> I think yeah. you should have. It sounded a lot like it. <laughs> That's not the real uh, Joe. He's not from North Tonawanda, guys. <laughs> North Tonawanda. <laughs> Look at Joe. Joe's the thing cool. about doing an impression of Joe is it's basically Eric Cartman. Pretty fucking close, to be honest. Okay, yeah, seriously, I'm going home. I got to turn off my camera. I got to go to the fridge, and I have no pants on. Nice. 
You Show lie. us the Ninja Turtles and underwear. This, as soon as he says it, this is where all the ladies start texting him. All right. <laughs> Little Chinese girls from across the street, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> That's funny. These beers are going down pretty good. Hey, look at the lacing on this thing. It's empty, but look. Oh, you can't see shit, can you? Anyway, yeah, you can see each and every drink I took. It was like one, two, three, four, five. There was six drinks out of it, and you can see each time I, I stopped. But it's time to fill it back up, boys. That, that wonderful IPA at the 7.35. That sucker, it, it, it sat there and, and, and got all the sugars out. So it made for a, a pretty neat IPA. It's no juice bomb like y'all drinking, but it, it, it's not bad. There's a ton of lacing on this glass. Like it's fucking. Oh, I, no, I see that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all over. Wow. It sticks to it. And it's actually, it looks like the fucking beer is going, turning to a, like a, I want to say green, but it's not really a greenish color. It's, it's just really dark. It's getting to a darker brown. And it's just so fucking delicious. I'm like, this is fucking fantastic. And I can have Nick fucking sending me some more of this shit. Oh no! What happened to Chad? <laughs> Dan, you drinking anything, or are you still on the antibiotics right now? Well, I'm kind of drinking. I I just did this finger guns. That's all I did. Okay. I can't I can't have any more because if I do, I'm pretty sure I'll be waking up feeling like shit again tomorrow. Um, you, you, you know, you know, if you research that, the antibiotics and drinking have to do with each other, that, that's kind of an old wise tale. I mean, re research for yourself. I, I wasn't going to say it earlier because, uh, uh, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do, but I guess the fanciest beer I've had lately would be probably this one here, the new Belgium, sorry about the lighting, new Belgium, the Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA, it's a 9%, I think. Yes, sir, 9%. That's about as awesome as I get, you know. <laughs> Dan, I'm looking at your video feed right now, and I see you're in HD. Why are you not? Why are your soft boxes not lit up on you right now? Because I don't have my soft boxes on. And obviously not. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I came down here. I'm like, all right, I'll just turn this on. Do whatever. Soft box. I wasn't even thinking, so I just got the stupid light up top. Are you saying I should put my soft boxes on? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Right. Light yourself up, motherfucker. <laughs> light that yeah. shit up. Yeah, if I had those toys, I'd I do got, it for I sure. My two, I got my two right here on both sides of me right here. All right, hold on, hold Burning on. the shit out of my face. But you know what? That's what makes it HD. Makes I'll it look good. Makes it HD. What, Chad? I'll show you something that makes it HD. I don't, I don't I see it. Are you kidding me? Oh. Highly disgusted? <laughs> HD rhino porn? Okay. Highly disgusted? <laughs> what? Yeah. Ah, shit! I only have one plugged in. The fuck? One job. One job. One job. Yeah, no kidding. You had one job. Now you gotta move that light to your face. Away from the face. I don't wanna be blinded. What the fuck are you talking about? All right. Yeah, what, what's behind? What's in there? What? What's? What's in that box? Are like LED or? A uh, no, no, it's a fucking four lights in there at least, or five. What's in the box? Want? What's in the box? Like, there's like one, one, one light in there. In there. Like <laughs> LED, or, it's awfully bright. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, it was with an LED or something. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's a luminescent one. It's the coil ones. I got these okay. ones right here, drunk one. This is the, this is what I'm using right here. As, as the electrician, I'm just thinking, man, look at that meter spin now. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, to everybody <laughs> joining us right now, I'm going to be posting the join link very soon. If you have a uh, if you have a camera, come and join us. Uh, basically, we're going to be going offline in the next few minutes. Uh, we that use means Chad's going to be showing his penis. We usually have an all after party, all fucking we usually have an after party that goes on for an hour to four hours later, mattering how we all feel. Uh, uh, we're gonna have you're more than welcome tonight. to join us. Once we go offline, we usually get more <laughs> unpolitical, shall we say, as in we, we can talk about things that we don't talk about online. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so very oh, soon that's going to happen. Nice nipple. Here's your <laughs> well, I don't care if you show nipples. Go ahead and show nipples. I don't give a shit about that. And, and, uh, and no, but no camera, camera even. Yeah, right? no camera here you even. go, ladies. Hold on. 
Wait, we don't care if we show nipple. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, 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 there it goes. Oh, there we go. Well, that's oh, a there 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 There's Christina Mato. That's the future Mrs. Klizak right there. There's the join link. Come on. Hang out with us. Talk to us. Say hello. We are going offline now. Thank you to everybody that's viewed us. Uh, yes. Yeehaw. Bye-bye.